good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Saturday Night Fights brought to you by Sean Connery in a saucy sarong and the Armchair Dragoons. It's a pleasure as ever to be with you. What? Happy New Year! What, you think we'd miss New Year? Get out of here. Come on, you know better than that. We love to come out and spend some time with you and uh, and do some or play some games, because that's what we do here. I'm going to start right off the bat by sending out a tweet, because I haven't heard from Dalinar today. I know he's doing better. We know he's doing better. But, Good you know, evening, a Saturday everyone. night fight Welcome, where we're going to be doing a Napoleonic battle without Dalinor is a little weird. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. It's a little weird. So uh, here goes the tweet. And uh, we decided, well, we I decided just because that's what I had to hand, because this has been a busy week of gaming. Oh, first of all, how you doing, Valker? I'm well. <laughs> Except for that. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Great. <laughs> <laughs> it's, clean, uh, unclean, unclean, unclean. No word. We're, we're hiding out. It's uh, we're gonna get we're getting some snow tonight, some big snow, um, and so we are. As I say, we are hiding out uh, here in the great Middle West. So mother, unfortunately, is at work. She could not be with us. So we're hoping everything's going well for her. But we are uh, we are hunkered down. Um, let's see here. There we go. So I decided to grab a hold of a battle. And this is actually, in a small way, this was a request. Somebody, somewhere along the line in the chat, this is a bunch of weeks ago now, Potbelly Slim, thank you, man, one and one. Um, the, uh, somewhere, somewhere along the line said they wanted to see the Battle of the Kotzbach. And so I said, all right, you know, we got a scenario from Ross McGee. And by the way, let us all collectively get together and congratulate Ross McGee, I believe, on the birth of his very first son. Uh, hey, there you go. By, oh, nice. by, the, uh, by the name of Samuel Rocky McGee, um, <laughs> or, or as we've, uh, we've come to calling him here in, the, uh, in, in this household, the Wee McGee. Um, <laughs> So, but apparently all are doing well. So this is one of um, Dad's, Ross McGee's maps, and we're very pleased to have it uh, as, and with the uh, coloration and such done by my wife, who does my topography for me, one of the privileges of my life. But anyway, um, and so this is one of those maps I had. I said, well, let's put it together and have some fun. A lot of things to like about this battle. It's got some interesting scenario setups. We'll talk about those. But the other thing is the Super French are gone. You know, this is this is no longer a battle where the uh, where the hey Ian hey John, where you know this is no longer one of those battles where the French are rolling all over everybody. This ain't eighteen oh five anymore. So this is a real struggle, and plus they're also situationally very challenged. But we'll talk about that. But before we get into any of that, we have to talk to the players and uh, figure out who they're going to play. We have around the table, and I'm just going to name them off. We got our guy Achilles. We got Mike OJ's dad. We got Red Sacks. We have the chronologist. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Where did Mike go? Right here. No, there he is. All right. I didn't hear a good evening. I was worried about you. I thought you might have collapsed dead under your table. Don't do that. <laughs> no. Too many people dropping off. Anyway, so um, we have on one side, and I'm looking as, as I look at the camera, over on the right, we have the French, as well as a French core sitting under or over Achilles' name. Um, and then over on the far side, in the far distance, over this away, we have a whole bunch of Prussians and a whole bunch of Russians. So I guess I'll start right at right at the top because that's what Dalinor would want me to do. Hey, Has uh, Dalinor would want me to uh, pick out a French commander? Who's Napoleon tonight? That's not Napoleon. But... <laughs> Anybody want it? <laughs> I'll take it. All right, Achilles, you're gonna have to grab this color, whatever it is, right there. All right, and on the allied side, you get to be Blucher. Who wants to be Blucher? Nobody else will. I will. All right, OJ is Blucher. Got to grab this color right there. Yep. All right, you two other gentlemen. Red, you want to be French or allied? Uh, don't care. All right. Uh, let's, Chrono, you got a preference? I'll go French. All right. OJ and Red, you're staying on that side. Chrono right. and Achilles, you're staying on this side. So let's talk about the scenario. Do, 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 do. You see the map. Um, let's see here. Yep. 
All the towns you see on the map are one base width in size and can be garrisoned. The Vuthenda Nysa River. I love this. This is this is Ross getting nuts. The Vuthenda Furious Nysa River can only be crossed at the bridges. Due to the heavy rains over the preceding day, the river is in spate. It's a classy show we have here. It's in spate. This is shown by having a one base with marsh area present on both sides on the length of the river. What are we talking about? Well, I think you can see it, and I think you see that marsh. You know, it's... Uh, Say, you know, it's all that swampy evilness all over the place of it. So, you know, you're going to have a hard time. And what does he mean by the bridges? Well, there's one there and there's one there. So there's a challenge for you. The Pinsenbach stream can be crossed by infantry and cavalry only as a difficult maneuver. Artillery can only cross at the bridge at the Zeitschau Hemmersdorf Road. Right, we'll talk about setups in a little bit. We do have subcommanders. No subcommanders on the French side have special abilities. That's so weird to me. <laughs> I, I will not lie. Usually my French have all these incredible abilities. They have none. But they do have subcommanders who can use that, the, that, that trait if they need it. Um, they can only attach to units of their core. The allies actually have some very nice special abilities, which they should definitely take a look at. Their commanders are all out there. All allied units may use the rally rule. The allies have a variable army morale. They start out at 10 and go up to 14. They start out at 10 at turn 1, and they go up to, six, they go up to 14 at turn 16. What is, let's, uh, before we get to winning, the mo, the mo dice, it's grim, grim business. I won't lie. The French get three. The Allies get four. That's not a lot of mo dice with all these troops. Mm. So you're going to have to husband your resources. The game lasts 28 turns, so it's 14 full turns, as we know in Blucher. Starts at 11 o'clock, and it ends at 8 o'clock. Uh, turn 28, one turn is about 20 minutes. The battle took place during a heavy thunderstorm with intense rainfall. And as such, weather plays a huge part in the outcome. Here's some of those effects. Every hour, every hour, so we're going to start out right at the beginning right at 11 o'clock, and then we do it every three turns. Whoever has that turn, so every three turns will be an hour, they make a D6. On a one, it's storming. On a two to three, it's heavy rain. And on a four to six, it's light rain. And we'll have to go through what each one of those things is. But the bottom line is, is it makes it incredibly hard for the units to see each other. Um... There is a, there, it, even with light rain though, and this is something has alluded to offline, there is no small arms fire allowed. Nobody gets to shoot with their muskets in this game. Okay. Hmm. No skirmish, no. No skirmish, musket. no volley. Yay. <laughs> wow. Artillery <laughs> fire dice are halved. Their max range is two base widths. So this is going to be this is going to be almost like an ancient battlefield here in the rain. Um, I do have some depictions of the battle here on the sideboards. Here's this one here. I don't know how much of that you can see, but uh, uh, I currently can't see it because I don't think Achilles is in the. Let's try this one. And there's another one here. And there's, that's a great depiction of the horrible weather that they had to confront. It's a, it's a grim bit of business. What's winning? The Prussians win by clearing the Genovese Plateau of French by dusk, or 
of capturing and holding both bridges over the Vithenda Nista Nysa stream by dusk or by breaking the French morale. This is their bridgehead. Where is the plateau? I think it's pretty obvious from the map. You know, there can't be any French up on this thing. And this is the center of it. But also, so if they kick, if they, or by capturing both bridges. Or of course, by breaking the morale, which is a paltry eight. So the French do have some things going for them, not the least of which are the horrific raining conditions. Okay. Um, yes, that's what I want. So let's talk about deployments. We'll start with the Prussians. Um, the Prussians, first corps with York and Blucher attached. They're up here, astride the road. That's what they're to be, just like this. They're to be astride that road, these boys here. That's one corps. The left wing under Langeron. It set up as indicated on the map, deployed in a line in the air in the arc between Hermannsdorf and Hennersdorf. So I put them up there, but they've got a, you know, they've got a set of setup. And it's interesting because looking at the map as I was, I'm sure I'm looking at the right thing again. And he intended that statement to look more like this. So there, you know, the line, when he says it, it's like this between the two, it's not like this. So if you want to move them around a little bit, that's certainly fine. But it's got to be a line between these two villages. And sort of in that same deployment area. St. Priest, the 8th Corps, arrives at turn 10. Oh, I'm sorry. That's the wrong one. <laughs> Pinging the wrong guy. This is St. Priest up here. Who is? And it's 8th Corps, which is... I'm flipping too many oh, things right there. The Russian 8th Corps, yeah. And they arrive there-ish. Why did I scroll so badly? I didn't want to scroll that badly. Right. So they arrive 10th. Turn ten. Mm-hmm. Well, I may have to apologize for that. Why did I put them there? I usually try to put them right where they belong. It would seem I have not done so. Do, 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 do. There we are. Saint Priest. At three. Ah, that's why. Okay, I had no other place to put them. They arrive here on this road. Ah, they come on that side of the river. Yep, they come on that side of the river. That's because I didn't have any place else to put them. Okay, I excuse myself for a change. <laughs> 11th Corps right wing, they arrive, as indicated on the map, on turn 16. They have to, however, dice for arrival. We'll do that there. It's uh, 1 to 3, 4 to 6, 50 50, they show up. I do believe. No, that's still. That's the French 3. So they're going to show up at point four. I want to make sure I'm doing this right, since I'm now concerned about myself. Yep, I did it right. They show up here-ish. Hey, 16 or 18? 16. 16. One six. And then finally, the 3rd Cavalry Corps 
they arrive also on turn 16 at point five. Which I suppose I could turn on, but they show up to the right of the folks that they're with. And these are these folks that are all over here. That's eight core. There's the rest of them. There they are. And they are close. They all are going to show up here and here. So that's these boys here on turn 16. Let's now discuss our friends, the French. And by the way, from this, you can discern that the French go first. Because they get the even numbers, the odd numbers, I should say. Here we are. Loriston. Set up just like that. Again, you can shift them around a little bit, but that's where they go. This is one of the most interesting thing, things that Ross has ever put in a uh, one of his deployments. Gerard, the 11th Corps. They set up as indicated on the map in March column along the road. The front of the column is exactly where it is and the rear toward the table edge. Make the column whatever you want, but this is the order it's coming across in. And it's from this spot where they get up on the plateau. So it kind of gives them the plateau for free. Okay. Sebastiani. Uh, he sets up in March Column behind that core. So he's following right behind them. Whatever that... can't whatever can't get on the board. Oh, sorry. That's... Uh, uh, second Cavalry that's Corps. Two, that's Second Cavalry Corps. Yep. They, whatever can't get on, stays off. And then you've got the 8th Division of 3 Corps. They arrive, turn 17, dicing for arrival. I'm sorry, who's that? It's boys over here. 3rd uh, Corps. I'm sorry, which turn was that? 17. One after the 16 that you guys got to dice for. Yep, and they got up to dice also, right? Yes. But the other ones up there, at, by Kona's name, they're on automatically once they can actually yep. fit onto the table on Correct. the road. They yep. show up as reinforcements. Yep. Here's, here's the kick in the head. <clears throat> French units cannot be activated by command, despite their CNC being present. Due to the very bad weather, MacDonald had a very poor overall picture of the situation on the battlefield. The French can rally, and the units of the French 2nd Cavalry may be attached and activated by any corps at any time. I like that. So those <laughs> those horses can get shifted around wherever you like them. Okay. And asking for this road, does this counting on this road move kind of still being rough terrain with our base width? It does. Considering... Okay. It does. So coming up this road is going to be difficult. Mm -hmm. Sam does not allow that that to be canceled. Uh, the other thing that we're going to keep doing now, whenever we play Ross's scenarios. Is, and I and by the way, I checked that against this in case y'all, you know, this is the actual map of Ross's. There's just no way to do it that I can see. You know, you're going to be with with the actual base width, which is what this is. You're going to be in difficult. So it's and I suppose the argument is it's a column of march. You're not going to be able to do that deployed. So, um, however, also remember. Also, please remember that um, Ross has an unwritten rule about his scenarios. Troops that are deployed on the map at game start do not get a reserve movement. Only the reinforcements do. Quite a thing. Der geht ran wie Blucher an der Katzbach. No, that 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 happened just like Blucher at the Katzbach. Huh. Apparently, that's still a saying in German. I've never heard it. Der geht ran wie Blucher an der Katzbach. 
Huh. Fascinating. All right. Questions, comments, opinions, or hallucinations? <laughs> and I apologize, Jim. You probably said this, mm -hmm. but for what, what are the movements on this table? It's standard blucher. Okay. Six and three. Twelve and yep. six. Standard blucher. Well, if you want to make any adjustments, make them. Yep. Okay. So, <clears throat> fifth core is pretty much where they need to be, right? They can't be much further than by cow. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to see them. I'd like to see them back of that. Yeah. But if you want to line them up or, you know, put them on, you know, something like that. Do, uh, does artillery need to be facing in reverse for Limbered? No, no. That is not okay. a blue curve thing at all. And can the second cab that's coming on, do they have to go this way or they can come on and then immediately turn? Well, they can't turn this way because they can't cross the river. Well, this here. I can cross this. This is like uh, that's just a stream. Around. That's a tributary. Okay. Yeah. This river I can't so he cross. Can, so he can bring them on and then immediately turn them this way if he chooses to, correct? He sure could. Okay. That's what I thought. I'm mm -hmm. just trying to get clarification. Sure. OJ, who's commanding what? Mike? Yeah, I, fig I figured you would have the Russians there on the left, and I'd take Blucher here on the right. Check out the team, sure. team chat, too. Chrono, did you have any questions about what I wrote there? Uh, not yet. I sent you something. Okay. Got any secret conversations? Yes, I know something about Achilles nobody else knows. <laughs> because he told me. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> what, he was really in the artillery? Oh, oh God. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, dirty pool, old man. man. I, I, I could have I said he was a cook. True. He was but that the, would insult Delanor. He was in the rear with the gear. No one, no one messes with the food supply, okay? That's true. Yeah. Didn't you people learn that in the military? You supply, oh, yeah. payroll, food, and mail. motor pool, or walk. Don't mess with a soldier's pay, his food, or his mail. There you go. Unless it's a bill. <laughs> Private Snuffy with his 20% uh, interest rate on his 10-year-old char Dodge Charger. <laughs> don't, la don't, don't laugh. My, parent, my parents had a 16% CD that they got from the credit union in, in, at RAF Milton Hall back in the 80s. Oh, jeez. So are we starting on turn one or are we starting on a different... It's, they, they, it starts on turn one. It'll be too confusing. Otherwise, we'll be incessantly uh, deleting and subtracting. Okay. Did... And Jim, I can. Re I need to rearrange my units too. Correct. You you can. Okay. I don't have. I, to. I, I set them. I set them up exactly. Velker and I actually went through here. We set these up exactly as they appear in the OOB. But you do you. Gotcha. I uh. Did I take the wrong color, Crown? Uh, you were on blue. I can jump back over if you want to take white. Okay. I, I didn't know. Am I supposed to be yeah, on if white? You, if you, if you, you don't have to be. As long as you can see what's going on in here, you're fine. Okay. Yeah. I could not earlier, so I jumped into white, so we could. <laughs> okay. there, there you go. I didn't want to interrupt Jim's flow, so like, I'll just take that. I had a flow. I had a flow. Well, let's see. Am I allowed to click it from here? Oh, I am. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Oh, you may want to move That's the good. box. The dice kind of stick out the front there. Oh, I can actually. I see that. That's my other problem. When I'm game master, I can't see it. <laughs> Let me. Uh, pick Should it. be able to set it so you can see it as game master. Let me see that box. Okay. 
So right now, uh, one of the dice is sticking out in the front. Just, I just can I, What if I scooch the die roller? Yeah, just scooch the die roller back like an inch or two. I think it should be fine. And only because I'm too lazy to look this up right away. Calvary can move through the town. Yep. Is that considered a difficult move for them if they're just yep. moving through though? Yep. That's what I thought. Okay. Let me test this again. Can you see these dice? Oh shoot! Over there. Hey, your your town's not locked down here. I just moved it by accident. I Colts. I just moved it halfway across the table. <laughs> hey, uh, I think hey, I got it back in the right spot. I just you did. Hey, you allies, did hey, allies, can you see this dice over here? Any of these dice? Um, let me look. I just want to make sure because on no. my screen. Okay, good. I yeah. just want to make sure because on my screen it's kind of poking out of the box, but if you guys oh. can't see it, then... uh, no, I can't see it anywhere. I think it's just a, almost like an optical illusion. Yeah, it's probably just whatever's going on on my screen. Cool. Just shows you I have absolutely no sense of what people want to watch. Number We played a ton of games this week. Number one, everybody wanted to watch Rommel. What's a new game? All you dirty treadheads. You also don't see a whole <laughs> lot of higher level World War II games out there. So, Well, yeah, I mean, Rommel is... It's I it's it's interesting. I think Rommel is more played than people give it credit for. Because I just I've I've now noticed. I think it's it gave people a lot of opportunity to put their six mills into action. Yeah, I mean I have a bunch of fifteen mills from I used to play Flames of War that I'd love to do Blucher with because mm. you don't need as many. <laughs> well, I think that's the point, right? Blucher unit is like you can use one tank for one tank unit, one stand of infantry for a. That's 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 wrong though. You have to have at least two. Come on. That's valid. Or, or at least when I, I, easy for me to talk when I'm stamping them out digitally. Everybody all oh. set? I'm, I'm ready as all over me. Alex? So there is there is no musketry fire ever. Even at closed range, right? Ever. Okay. None. Just, that's what I thought. I just wanted to be perfectly clear on this. You shall so, melee or nothing. Well, I suppose you can cannonade too. But so at half range. Right. Oh, the artillery is only half range? Is it? It's, it's, it, no, it's, range it's actually even. It's at half effectiveness, and I think it's even shorter than that. Yeah, it's half effectiveness at short, at like basically point blank range. Yeah. Oh. Right. Can't see, and uh, it's raining, so your cannonballs aren't going to bounce anyway. And your powder's bad. So. Yeah. Yeah, doing this kind of thing in a in a rainstorm, just yeah. Yeah, max max is six inches. That's canister range. Ooh. Okay, everybody, walk up into everybody and go. <laughs> Hand out the pikes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is right. This right. The Russians didn't bring any Opalchania. Oh, yeah, here's know. here's your Opalchania. Yeah, no, they did bring plenty of Cossacks. They did. They did. Cossacks right. love this filthy stuff. Grono, Grono, you about ready? I'm ready. When you you guys are. Uh, I'm sorry. I meant I, I meant red. <laughs> Wow! Wow! Because there's they are so easily confused. Well, it's it's, it, it, it's only fair because because Mike kept because Chrono kept confusing Mike and Red. So yeah, turnabout's fair. Play. No, and, and it was honest mistake there. I, just because the last couple <laughs> times I played on the side with Chrono, so, so Red, true. We tend to end up on the same just, side. Yeah. Red, you all set? Yes, I am. All right. Uh, Terrible to say, but I right. I confuse Chrono and OJ all the time. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm the younger, much better looking one. There you go. There you go. <laughs> o o uh, OJ, they only get three dice. Only get three. So oh, yeah. uh, give them, uh, give those French some mo dice. 
All right. Yes, more dice, please. More dice. Yeah. So, let's add a few. All right, so for Das Vaterland. Mm -hmm. There it is. And All the right. first thing you're going to do dice. for us, Chrono, now that you've received that, is you're going to roll 1d6, and you're going to tell us what the weather is for the next three turns. I will defer to Achilles. He's a CNC. <laughs> oh. oh, very good. You're right. Achilles? I uh, use this. Okay. I, here. <laughs> Whoops, I'm what do we find of the weather? We what find that it is it is only <laughs> light rain. I meant to pay. Whoops. And in the light rain, French visibility is reduced to two base widths. Prussian visibility is reduced to four. Um, and this is because he likes to do the flipping. Uh, no small arms fire allowed. Artillery fire halved. Everything else normal. Yep. So everything else is as was. Away you go. Uh, I'm going to activate this column here. All right. Away it goes. Um, Fascinating. The Prussians can see farther in the rain than the French can. The, the <laughs> argument, the argument that he makes in the scenario notes, is that um, Blucher actually made a previous day's full reconnaissance of the area. Ah, interesting. I thought he was going to say what? the wind was blowing towards the French, so the rain was in their eyes. No, they call oh. it wind, Mariah. That's, what, uh, what was the question or the comment? It's it's oh, it's just that um, the night before the battle, Blucher had made a very thorough reconnaissance of the field. Okay. And so and, if and, we were if we were playing with the cards, which you flip over for spotting, um you would the you would actually the French don't get to see the Prussians until they're closer to them. I would guess you can't do what you're doing there, Chrono. Yeah, there you go. Okay, One, and two, I'll hand it over three, to, it should be four, seven. Five, six, seven over to Achilles. Okay. In, in both, in both halves, in both commanders get at least one move. Exactly. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Like we typically do. So. Yep. It took us a little, little while to figure that out, didn't it? Well, it's actually less generous than what Sam actually suggests. I, yeah, Sam, what Sam recommends is that you say you both go and then you check against whoever used the most. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Two um, checks against combined. What's the, uh, what's the distance for artillery? Is it four? Uh, foot artillery can do six if it's doing six. a simple move. Okay. But they have to go straight ahead or rotate in place and then move straight ahead. Ah, trying to follow this road but roads really road, don't matter roads. The, the roads only have one impact in blue car honestly is that well they can get you across impassable terrain but then if you have reserve movement which none of you do at this point uh it allows you to use that other than that there's no point to them so can i is this just a simple move no, right? no, straight you, you ahead to, you, you must move you have to Oh, I gotta go straight ahead okay straight yeah. straight or you can or you, as chrono said you can turn but you can you know you can turn first and then do okay. it but there you go right you can interpenetrate and that doesn't complicate your movement and one but you cannot end uh, the move sitting on top of someone else all right cavalry should be six or twelve or twelve yeah six for comp Complicated 12, well, difficult 12 for uh, symbol. Okay, so three rotations give, took six inches, and nope, so he's that, got that six. That actually takes nothing. It's free. It's just like oh. it is. Yeah. Oh. It's just like it is in a charge in LaSalle. If you're doing it there, it costs you nothing. Okay. Well, to get used to this, I'm sorry. No yeah. problem. No problem. It's a totally different e system. Ian Jackson says he confuses Velker and Attila the Hun, Hun all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Ian Jackson says he confuses Velker and Attila the Hun all the time. Well, so does, more, a, more so does Attila Leroy the Hun. Jenkins. <laughs> Actually, yeah, Velker, Velker channels the spirit of Leroy Jenkins at all times. <laughs> and infantry is four, right? 
Uh, no, it's three or six. Oh, I keep thinking that for some reason going the other way. Okay. Might be thinking of Shaco, or I think it is for it at is. some point. Well, once we get the distances down in my head, they should be pretty quick. Russian. Like, um, the way I think of it is, uh, move is simple unless you, unless you're in bad terrain or you, you're, or you end up facing not in the direction of March. You went facing the direction of March. It's a symbol. Okay. All right. I'm done. That's, uh, what's that? One, two. Three. It's by brigade or is it by battalion? By brigade. One, two, three, okay. four, five, six, seven, eight. So 15. How's that? They are done. Yeah, that's a shock. Okay, so uh, <laughs> literally nothing else can happen. So French hit him. Hey, yes sir. While he's rolling there, red. Look at the chat real quick. Already did. Got it. Four Got dice, it. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. In. All right. Allies, you're up. I'm going to activate. It. I can do the whole core, can't I? Sure. I have to break it. Yep, I'm going to activate the entire first core. <laughs> ah, just moved a road section now, too. Where's that? I'll find right it. Right here by I, right here by the same village that was Eichholz. Oh, okay. That piece right there. He's already suffering from the mud sticking to him, bringing, bringing the terrain with him. Tell you. <laughs> there you go. That's a lot of Prussians. Ah, oh, crap. Damn it. I watch that lag tonight. Moving back here to the start off point, and then I'll. Right, back to the jump off line. One of you does all start. <laughs> You're DQ'd. Wait, come back. <laughs> Starter gun was not fired. <laughs> yeah, no a, a false start with what 18,000 guys <laughs> <laughs> happened in the Australitz <laughs> 36,000 men roughly speaking I think the cavalry artillery only goes nine, though, right? Yes, that's correct. All right. Bear you can swap me. these two around, I guess. Yep. Yep, that's what I was going to do. And the foot artillery can only go how far again? Uh, same as infantry. It's yeah, they're six, they're six and three. They're, they're six. Okay. That's the only reason I didn't move them with the infantry is because I couldn't remember right off the top of my head. All right, you know what he's doing, what you're doing. And commanders doesn't really matter where they're are what they're at until we okay, actually yeah red you're getting correct? some you're getting some evil ping rates. Oh no! Yep. The sun is setting here. That's probably why. <laughs> this is why your units are doing that. So, what was your question, Roger? The commanders doesn't matter where they're actually at on the field until we go to actually use them. Correct? When you use a sub commander, he goes there and stays. He goes there. The, the C and C, you just pick him up and slap him down. Although, right. although truthfully, I, I just well, I guess I guess I don't know. We'll see. But I don't know how you're going to use your commander in this game. Your sub commanders, Why, your sub commanders. Oh yes. Yeah, and I was going to ask you that while while Red's working on his movements, because Blucher is a mobile, and I was looking at mobile and the rules for mm -hmm. CNC, and I guess I wasn't quite following 
exactly what he could do in this particular battle. So, and if nothing, that's fine. Yeah, and has those are ugly. Why would I want that? First, first of the new year. The <laughs> that's if you want to play board games, those are available. With 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 tracks like that and such. <laughs> And colored bases. <laughs> They're very fine board games, and I encourage you to play them. I like miniature war games that don't use such ugly things. One of the <laughs> ugliest board, war, war games I ever saw, and he's such a good guy, is Colonel Buck Surdu's Look Sarge No Charts, which I was like, dude, you're playing a board game. You are playing a board game. Stop it. So if you had minis with colored bases, it'd be kind of like disco minis. Yeah, I know. It's it's it to me. It's just disfigures the table. It really does. And the Elan trackers are worse. I know it's aesthetic, so there ain't no wrongs and rights about it. Until we all get to heaven and see the platonic forms and know what's true. <laughs> I imagine that'll be a surprise for many of us. <laughs> <laughs> That guy can't be facing that way, Red. There you go. Same here. Bruker is straight ahead or nothing. Well, you can pivot at the end of your turn, but you gotta no, go out of No, you cannot pivot at the end. You can pivot at the beginning. Really? I was just reading that here in the rules. If you move at the end of your turn, it, that makes it a complicated move, so you're down to three inches. Right, right. So you can pivot at the end, but it's a reduced move. Yeah. It's a complicated move. Right. right. And speaking of lots of Prussians, here comes lots of Russians. Yeah. What year was this battle? 14. 1813. Is it, is it that soon? Mm-hmm. Wow, so this is right, right after, after the, it's the first uh, battle right after the uh, after retreat, after the, no, not after the, uh, after the Leipzig, it's the first one after the, uh, what is it, uh, after the armistice. Oh, Ooh. that's, oh, okay, so this is right after Bautzen, got it, okay, I put this in my wrong spot in my head. Yeah, this is that, this is that false piece that the Allies lied to Napoleon about. So is this an issue where the French were just finally starting to feel the weight of their casualties over oh, yeah. a decade of... Well, he, you know. no, he's feeling the weight of 1812. Mm -hmm. this, is what he could yes. this is what he could scrape together out of that army that got destroyed in, in Russia. Right. And to top, That's it, what I'm saying, though. And to top it off, a number of his previous allies have checked out on him. Right. Yeah, especially his cavalry arm, which was vastly reduced. He was really really underserved for reconnaissance scraping the depots in france for another uh, class mm -hmm. yeah that's i mean that's the problem you can train infantrymen to a decent level in what two months eight weeks but cavalry take a lot longer and well, then you have to have the horses i was going to say and he doesn't have the horses yeah because so many of them died in russia mm -hmm. Because you need them for you need them for your artillery, you need them for your cavalry, you need them for your supplies. Yep. <clears throat> the problem with training cavalry is, in theory, you could train cavalrymen relatively quickly, but then if they don't know how to take care of the horses, then. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Well, their their job is more complicated than a line infantryman. An individual line infantryman's job is not as complicated as as a cavalryman's job, especially light cavalry. Well, to Chrono's point, though, that's what I'd read, too, is it wasn't so much the training of the cavalrymen in, in their tactics and 
so forth. It was getting men that knew how to take care of their horses. Yeah. Yes. They have to be able to ride and they have to be able to take care of the horse and they have to be able to do the job. Right. You know, it, it does you no good to, to have your horse collapse under you after three or four <laughs> weeks because you don't know how to properly take care of it, right? Yeah, exactly. Or you're feeding in the wrong things and it dies, you know. Right. All right. Well, I know very well that they didn't get uh, about a hundred billion. Well, let's see. Mike moved 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Well, we moved everything. Yeah, we, that, that, we, you, moved you moved everything. everything. I think you're so done. I, I'm pretty pretty confident in that. Nobody can shoot at nobody. Turn three, roll it. Oh, I need, yeah. sorry, I need to bring these guys on. Okay, I'm going to activate this core again. With the cav core attached. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sinichal is just saying, boys, gun it. We're going to Genovitz. <laughs> Give her. I think we have has to thank too, by the way, for these nice Italians. It should be cut out. No, they're probably gonna get spread out. Horses. Oh, Jim, while they're uh, moving, I have a suggestion on uh, maybe improving the. Uh... The game flow. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it on a particular rule set? Maybe you should make a uh, another video where you're explaining the rules, so there isn't that big, you know, hour or forty five minutes hour thing explaining the rules before a game starts, and then say, say hey, you know, all you players, learn the rules. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's, there's, th there's something to that. I, I I have definitely thought about it. The only thing I will say is I don't have that much faith in myself. I appreciate you having it. Um, I, I I really do cherish the fact that people like uh, Chrono and Red and uh, and Has and some of the others have dived down into the rule books to say, yeah, I don't think it reads that way. If you watch the Rommel game, you know that um, there was a lot of stuff where I think now I could teach basic Rommel. But there was a bunch of stuff that I didn't grok until they actually started doing it. Yeah, well, that's true of all rule sets. Okay, that's it for me. How many? I don't think it matters. One, two, three, but... four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> nine over to you, Achilles. Okay. And you do recall you can't cross this stream with artillery, right? Roger that. I Here's... hope he has no too. <laughs> really is a beautiful battlefield though, if you look at it. I've been watching I've been looking at the geo the uh, Google map of it. Not that I would have liked to have been there. Let me be crystal clear. <laughs> Fighting with bayonets in the mud, in the rain. Yeah. Ugh. Jim, what Terrible. were the objectives? What were the objectives again? The the you, the Prussians, the Allies, I should say, must clear these French from this plateau. You see this whole thing? No French. This, I'm sorry. This this plateau here. This whole thing. Okay, gotcha. All one big plateau, or or you can seize, I can't believe, bridges. you can seize these two bridges right. and hold them at game's end. 
Either will do it. Okay. So nothing, no, nothing specifically on the left flank, right? Nope. Okay. Other than the fact you're going to need those dudes. Right. My pity for the five core suddenly increased. I, I, I always felt bad for five core for a variety of reasons. <laughs> I'm not feeling any better now that I have looked at this. Okay, you did say uh, their changing face is free. Is that correct? Uh, either that, as long as you pivot in place when before you begin movement, you get your free. You get your entire uh, move. If you change facing at all during or at the end of your movement, then it's, it has to be a difficult move. Gotcha. Yeah, if you do that, you can go straight six inches straight that way. So, John Stanley, you're saying you want to do a... No. Uh... Remember, you want to core activate and you have to keep them within three. Ah. Thank you. So, so John Stanley, you're saying you want us to do the guard counterattacks. Uh, uh, let's go. see. Who would it be? Probably Vance and Chrono. That's what we'll do. Ooh, which guard counterattacks are we talking about? Squad lead. He's, he's, there's a call for a classic squad leader night. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, British we're guard, done. Though. Yeah, that's that's it for us. We're and talking yeah. like British guard units or uh, Soviet. No, guard the, that that it's first thing. that first scenario from basic from John Hill's squad leader. Oh, in, okay. in Stalingrad. Yeah, yeah, it's the guards. It's a little bitty scenario. Um, all right, so I want to I want to keep we're keeping track, right? Because that yeah, this is turn three. It's about to be turn four. Going to turn four. Yeah, I can't imagine. I seem to recall. Okay, that's the thing I need to do. It is the top of the hour. OJ, what's the weather like? I need a number from you. 1d6. All right. Tell me what you roll. Two. Uh -oh. oh. Let's see here. It is heavy rain. So oh, jeez. See here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything else stays the same. The visibility shrinks. The one thing, uh, just to let you all know, any of you roll a one, all fighting stops, no firing, no close combat. All units must disengage to intro. Uh, with both sides making an equidistant move to introduce a one base with with gap between all units, with the exception. That's amazing of a unit in a building or a woods um, or, or cannot move back to another terrain. The other side must then pull back to create the one base, disc, the base depth width. And after that, game turns are skipped until the next hour. So it basically <laughs> burns three turns. Wow. So we have heavy rain now. The rain is heavy. Uh, we need Modice, please. I don't think it's going to matter too much, but still. We shall do the exercise. It's going to matter later. <laughs> it will definitely matter later. Okay, it's done. OJ? All right. I'm going to activate first core again. <laughs> and while I'm just moving them, I guess Red could probably go ahead and move Canty. Yeah, why don't you just go right? So it's that, actually, you, you, you all should probably just be doing that. I mean, it doesn't matter until we're within contact of somebody to mm -hmm. what is our visibility in under heavy rain is it one base width it's one base width it doesn't matter because we're not doing the flipping well mass really charges oh so good point to, oh look at you see. look at you being smart see this is why i say things like i do uh the french is reduced to three inches the prussians to six you went to walk around blind oh yeah <laughs> So that won't say that one more time. You know, you can't charge what you can't see. Oh, yes, yes. And you, the Prussians, you can see six inches. These French, their uh, their heads are in a sack. They're moving three, and they they can see three inches in front of them. Once again, uh, <laughs> the Landwehr Corps is going to activate the whole entire thing. Mm -hmm. And. It's actually left wing. Left wing. Okay, left wing is aha. 
Oh, Landveer, left wing. Well, no, that's a, that's a difference because ask OJ. He's got Landveer. <laughs> he has lots of them. <laughs> it's, he's not going to like it so much when the fighting starts. Yeah, but I have Russian regulars. <laughs> Those guys are nasty Isn't in this. That... Yeah, let's ask yourself this question. I wish Jeff Russ was here for it. Who would you most want in a fight like this in the Napoleonic Wars? There isn't a question. I'd want Russian infantry. In a fight like this, which is going to be a, you know, who's standing last? Good Lord. I've done backpacking in the rain before, so I can only imagine how god dang miserable it is. Oh. <laughs> you marching in 18th century, 19th century gear in woolen uniforms, or what's left of a woolen uniform, because you've been on campaign, and it's probably worn to rags. <laughs> It's pouring down rain, and your officers are like, "Okay, we're going this way," and you're like, "Why?" Is there a? I just want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Road marching and fighting in sandstorms isn't any better. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't I'll bet. Uh, I see that. That though, the the thing is, and I've just you know only talked to my friends who served, and and it's the it just you can't ever get it out of everything. No, <laughs> and you can't in, see anything. At least in theory, you can get dry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but can you imagine trying to pick every grain of sand that's messing with your highly efficient, your you know your well lubricated well, modern machine? Well, it's worse than that. When I was in the Naval Reserve, one of the units used to go to Europe and do some training, and when they came back, they had to make sure all the dirt, everything was off those vehicles and equipment, because if it wasn't, they couldn't bring it back. Oh right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. You know they they I mean and it was being checked by an army vet. They did. They did the health and ins health inspection on that equipment. Or talk about going over with a toothbrush. <laughs> yeah, Achilles. How do you get down inside the center barrel of an M1 and with a toothbrush? <laughs> you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Duct tape at the end of a long pole. Yeah, you have a big bore brush. The tricky bit is, is like, for example, um, sighting sighting the weapon, because every time there's a a change in temperature of over a certain number of degrees, or oh. change in al uh, elevation, or any number of things, you have to recite, re rebore sight. built the M1s here in Lima, close to where I live. Oh. Guy I went to school with for a little while in college, his dad was a chemist that worked at the tank plant who specialized in the camouflage paints. Yeah, in interesting. <clears throat> Plant's still there. I don't know. It, it's still part of DOD. I don't know what they're currently working on now maybe the last variant of the m1 yeah i don't know straight ahead though red red that's not straight yeah you can turn them but you gotta go straight nope. toward their facing Nope. If you want them, if you want them to be there, they're looking this way. What's that? There you go. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> the lag! You had it. <laughs> the lag? Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> no, it's the rain. <laughs> Oh, I sympathize. <laughs> My parents' place, um, for the longest time, he apparently had some very terrible old wiring that had some exposed copper. So whenever it rained, our connection would just drop. Left, 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 until, left, left, left. Until the, until the company there finally came out and was like, oh, we got to replace this. <laughs> okay, I'm now finished. You leaving that gun there? Uh, we'll just do this with the gun. There we go. Okay. All right. 
That's it. Turn four. That was turn four. We go to five. I mean, a few different moves this turn to get all my stuff going. All right. Let's, heads get, up. Uh, let's get okay. go dice, please, for the French. Yep. One second. I stepped away from my desk. You have mo dice. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna move these two because these guys are not within three of these guys back here, unless I manage to get them up here. No, so it's just these front two. Okay. Oh, all right. I can't move in because. <laughs> Okay, that's two. Over to two Achilles. over to you, Achilles. All right. Um, can I give it back to Chrono? Yeah, sure. It Do run, it. does run the risk of you not having any at some point, though. So. That's that's all right. I'd rather me run out on this turn than you run out on this turn because we need you to okay. get forward. Okay. Uh, I'll activate these two back here. It's like Cav in this first in first brigade here. Cool. Wouldn't that trigger a uh, check of the morale of the, yeah, of the it, it, MO if he does? Considering it's two, and they rolled, he rolled three dice. I think we're safe. Okay. <laughs> uh, unless you got a I special dice over there, Red. Yeah, two unless more. you got, yeah. <laughs> or I cut this dice in half. <laughs> I, got a neg I got a negative one die. Over yeah, there. I was going to say, it's an average die. He's rolling average it's a, dice. It's okay, a several, uh, several negative dies. Two more. Okay, that's, that's two four more total. Back over to you, Achilles. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, let's give it back to Chrono again. If you have to use them all, you use them all, but get everybody forward. It's okay. good. You can keep going with four. Okay, these guys are all within three, and so I'm mm. attacking the Cav Core to activate all five of these guys. Yes. Yeah, on the and on the. Oh, go ahead. That's a total uh, of nine over to yep. you, Achilles. You still want to pass? Um, you're done now, right, Chrono? Yeah, I have. These guys are technically not on the board yet, so I have to start bringing them on. Okay. This turn. Well, they're all they're all part of this. Right, but they're not on the board, so I come out as the enforcement. I don't right? think they come. No, they just follow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they I, just follow. Yeah. Just, yeah, they're just they're, they're part of that command. Yeah, they're, they're yeah, they're, they're just they're quote unquote technically on the board. They're yeah. just not. Like I said, I mean, Ross, I'll, add, I'll yeah. add them in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ross just made that. <laughs> Ross just made that weird thing that they're. It's like I said, I've never seen him do it before. But his clear intent was they're not reinforcements. They're just off the board. If you're road marching and you're not expecting, if you're not moving to contact, then you have a, a muzzle cap on the front end of the main gun to, oh, to keep go. everything out. But uh, otherwise, yeah, you would have it off. I can remember sitting at, in the theater at Fort Knox watching a Chuck Norris movie. It was it like Invasion USA or some sure, stupid yeah, thing? Yeah. 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 <laughs> and they had. Um, they they had this scene where there's a this tank and it's moving and it stops and then it fires, but right before it fires, it has the muzzle cap on the end of the tube <laughs> and then all of a sudden it fires and the entire theater, all these tankers just erupt laughing, laughing. You know. It's... See. <laughs> all right. So what's so your total? That's fourteen over to Achilles, I believe. Okay. 14, okay. To, Achilles. 14 to Achilles. All right. Uh, 13 technically, actually. No, they count, okay. but... And once I hit that stream, it's going to be difficult, right? Right, right. And which means since you've gone three, four, you got to stop. Yeah. This guy is right on the edge of it, so... You can go three. Yep. Three? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so good this guy over here, too. Straight, 
different. And you said this guy here can go three as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he'll, his front edge will be like right there. Okay. Well, oh boy, you got that very daunting gun with its <laughs> six inch range. <laughs> yeah. Marky, Marky put in the chat, hey, can you imagine the rules of carnage with Jim umpiring squad leader? It'd be great. It'd be great. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that would be entertainment worth paying for. Okay, and uh, last but not least. See, the thing about board games, unlike minis games, you ever watch two guys play squad leader, it's usually a pretty quiet experience. It's very chess-like. Miniatures gamers, we talk a lot more smack. <laughs> do not doubt it. We do? I've never done such a thing. You've never played a Napoleonic... You've never played an actual Napoleonic miniatures game, like with physical minis, have you, Mike? No, I don't own any. You, 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 you introduced me to this, and now yes, I'm sir. buying rule sets. Now he's buying rule <laughs> <new> sets. <laughs> okay, we're done. Yes, you are. All right, all done. Um, this takes us to turn six. Shoot, we're getting close to reinforcements. Uh, turn six, roll some mo dice for the allies, please. Turn six, and we haven't had a single look of combat yet. Uh-oh, starting to feel like Palamos. <laughs> okay, it's done. All right, I'm going to activate first core again. <laughs> oh my gosh well Ross certainly gave you a lot of room to maneuver although this great Prussian phalanx that's wandering down this plateau <laughs> I repeat 30, 30 to 36,000 men into a blinding blinding rainstorm yes so yeah <laughs> that's a good point they still can't see these guys <laughs> nobody can see anybody at this point right neither army even knows the other one's there good right you be, can start moving it's gonna be a hell of a surprise when they find each other <clears throat> the ultimate meeting engagement praying that you're uh you have you're gonna get at least one shot off because you wrapped your lock in a rag in a rag yeah <laughs> yeah i don't think you're gonna want to bust out that powder horn although i suppose yeah your cartridges are going to be soaked yeah straight now ahead you're right. wishing you're wishing you'd made that trade with that guy from the imperial guard for his infantry sword <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh oh This is one of those that I really wish doing some kind of a, a blind system on TTS was a little bit easier where we couldn't see what each other was doing until we kind well, of stumbled into each other. Well, honestly, one of the ways that one of the ways that that Sam wants you to do that is he has he has a tile system where you put out cards and it's just all you see is a unit in the shape with a flag on it. Right. And it's not till you flip it over that you know what the unit is. Right. Well, I just mean, you know, TTS would, you know, if they could, if you could somehow flag this unit here as hidden where nobody else could really tell what it is or something, you know what I'm saying? Oh, well, you can actually. I mean, TTS, okay. You, 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 oh, you yeah. can make, you can make um, pieces that have states. Yep. So you could, in theory, make a second ah. state for this that would just be like the French flag, and then I I turned on I turned on the Velker and I were fooling around with this for the stupidest game ever designed for a plumber, um, and we actually turned Fog of War on and made your you know you made your units you know the blue players units able to see what the blue players units can see, and the white players units can only see what the white players units can see. The, the processing power is so intense that it basically stopped the game. Uh, yeah, it, it's, it's, I, and I'm really <laughs> surprised at some of that. And maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just because mm. of the number of figures on the table or something. It, it, it It's almost like they need to go back. And, and I think you've kind of alluded to this, Jim. Do, do TTS version 2 where they really 
zero in on a lot of optimization and so forth. I don't know yeah. if it's the engine that they need to redo. Well, whatever it is, it just crashed on us, so stay with us. Okay. Uh -oh. Stay with us, stay with us, stay with us. Hang on, Red. There we go. <laughs> do what you want. It won't do any good. <laughs> I think those um, Fog of War is tended for smaller scale games and the stuff we're doing. Oh, yeah. that's it's it's The, the yeah. way they build it is for RPGs. You know, so yeah. you're 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 moving down the set you the ten foot by ten foot square hallway and where's my three save? There it is. Time is right now. It is no, that's not right. And we lost or about, if you we lost could, about a minute, so if you could take that uh, that like that white box that you hide the dice in and just hide half the board. Well that's that's what I was thinking more along yeah. the lines of is is just putting hidden boxes on on the two halves of the table, so to speak. The problem is, and Jim, correct me if I'm wrong. I've I've only played around with those boxes a little bit. They're not exactly the easiest to manipulate, though. No, they're they're crude. Yeah, they're they're very crude. And it, you know, Achilles, I think that what what I would envision is you do that, but then you have to have the ability to adjust it in the middle of the game, so that as units get closer to each other. You may say, okay, the boxes don't need to be here now. They need to be here or here or instead. Yeah, yeah. Or you just have, like, uh, they they cover maybe, like, uh, a third of the board on one end and a third of the board on the other, and then the middle would be the open ground where everybody could see each other. Right. Get to rejoin your teams, everybody. Yeah, get your teams. We're gonna leave these. Uh, get rid of these dice, but I'm gonna go over there and memorize the number. Dice go away. Right, it actually looks like it didn't lose that much, so that's good. Memorizing the number and deleting the dice. Not that it matters yet. <laughs> Red, you all set? There yeah, it looks like it, but... Uh... There you go. Mm. Oh, jeez. Looks like I'm pinging out of control. Actually, you and OJ are pretty close to the same number on mine. A uh, quick question, Jim. Mm -hmm. This uh, little lake down here. Yep. Is that uh, that's impassable? Impassable. Right? Mm -hmm. This here. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. I can't control these at all. You know what it is, Red? I just said I'm that. lagging out. You're actually going through the relay servers. You're not port forwarding properly. Your router is blocking you. Great. Yeah, you, you haven't properly forwarded your UDP ports. They're actually telling me what they're supposed to be. Interesting. All right, I tell you what, I'll group for you. We know that works. Which one this guy to do? Uh, him to follow the Cossacks. Like so? Yep. He can get all the way outside, alongside him. Is that what you want? That's fine. There he goes. The third light uh, to follow them. All right. And the second to do the same. I'll do it 
this way. Pivot. Like that. How about these guns? And the gun uh, can move this way. Right up here. Oh, nope. That's good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Happy to group. All right. Well, obviously, that's everybody. Uh, next turn. I believe it is top of the hour. It is indeed. Well put. Where did your red block go? I don't know. It disappeared. What'd you do? Why'd you, why'd you I didn't do anything to it. You, you know, crashed the game and Turn it Turn out your pockets. <laughs> why did you, It's over here. You threw it. I didn't touch it. You did so. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, the I, other person. Um, the other per Mom. Mike's moving the stuff again. <laughs> Velker. <laughs> He's called Velker. <laughs> Velker's going into his world of other stuff. Uh, okay, I see that number. And now, please, the French will tell me what the weather is. Go ahead, go ahead and roll this time, it goes. Okay. We have a five. Ooh, that's a light rain again. So that uh, that bumps us back. Let's, because Kron was right about the visibility. Whoop. Uh, yeah, that's light rain. French is six, Prussians are twelve. Six. And I 12. may, I may need that again. Yeah. French Good. is six, Prussian is twelve. Hello, we can see you. Uh, oh, what? What? There are Frenchmen over there. <laughs> Did you bring wine? Wait. We have some wonderful sausage. <laughs> if the French is six and the Prussian is twelve, what's the Russian? Uh, it's all allies. Yeah. All the allies are the same. Uh, so I'm going to activate these two up top here. Oh, you who, Mr. Frenchman, I can see you. Okay. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Shock and surprise of knowing. That's fine. You get in there. And he's going to repair. Well, not yet he ain't. I'm, I'm asking it. I'd like, no, I mean, this guy. Oh, he's just going to prepare a re- Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you meant the guy that moved into town. That guy's just standing right there. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. I thought you meant dude. All right, so that's two. Did you did you bring up uh, these guys close enough yet? They are not quite close enough, I don't think. All right, I'll so check a them. Achilles. No, just... Okay, so they're out. Achilles, did you want to do anything there? Uh, No, go back to Chrono. All right, two back to Chrono. Uh, these two, like Cav and the 1st Brigade. Got it. There's a bugger all out of cavalry. And they all... Well, the back guys have pointed sticks. <laughs> horseborn, uh... Horseborn, uh... Opal Cheney? <laughs> <laughs> Just a step above a Cossack. I'm telling you. Okay, that's four over to Achilles. Achilles, four. Okay. Uh, Chrono, do you need more? Yes, I do. Go for it. How are we looking? Well, we've only used four points, so we should be okay. Well, yeah, you, you may continue. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry about that. <clears throat> no problem. Unless Red slipped his negative dice in there again. His secret. So. <laughs> So I'm activating these three. That is a total of one, two, three, four, five, six. It's seven over to Achilles again. Seven over to Achilles. Uh, let's see. We still need to still need you. Just still need to bring people up, right, Colonel? I do. Okay. Is seven okay? Seven. Can we continue. Keep going? You may continue. All right. All right. All the rest of the cavalry.
Bonsoir, Amelia. Va con Dios, Bennett. Some people come and some people go. I do not post links to my scenarios till I've played them. Inevitably, I find mistakes. Like forgetting to put a flipping bridge down there. Okay, that's another one, two, three, four, five, six. Over to Achilles. Over to Achilles. All right. can actually go six mm -hmm. oh this is gonna get nasty I also like the fact that the weather table has no option other than at least some rain we want to scoot this guy back a bit because right now this guy's uh, out of range yeah for next turn That'll do it, I think. It's like, yeah. oh, there might be a little less rain, but it's not that there won't be rain. Just very wet altogether. Okay, we're done. And yes, you are. Next turn. Turn eight. Roll it. Mike. Okay. All right. I am going to activate first core again. Okay. Red, why don't you tell me what you want to do? Go do Be it. Be right back. Taking it a lot lower than we were. I don't know what you guys are seeing. Why don't you let me do it? Let's go. Okay. Um, because you're lagging. I your, want, uh, your hand is lagging. Yeah. Let's get uh, these guys. Uh, keep them here on the uh, plateau. Uh -huh. On this plateau here, and get the uh, what is it? That's the tenth. I want uh, on this plateau right here. I want the uh, ninth behind them and. Um, so move so, these guys forward to here. Yeah, the fat, the, the sharpest way is going to be like this. You can get them, come on, to there. Mm -hmm. and that works. Get, this guy can shoot to here. Mm -hmm. And then this guy, naturally enough, goes there. And so, so these, this is the uh, sixth division of Landwehr. Where do you want them to go? Um, this guy on the ninth can go right up here. Ah, got it. Right here. Got it. The sixth, I want to uh, pull them right in here for right now. Yeah. Put these boys. Ooh, yeah, those boys stepped out of range. So these guys are separate now. Everybody else is good. I think they may have gone over. Let me double check that. Hey, he's not. But Red, don't move things. 
Red, you're you're pinging way too bad to try that. Seventeen. What do you want to move? Red. Oh, there he goes. And there he goes. <laughs> and there he goes. Do they activate all these guys over here again? Well, he's just... cool. yeah, he's. I mean, they're done. They'll, they'll be done. Yeah. But, but he he did not activate these guys because he couldn't. Right. They were too far. All right, Mike. Why don't you give me an order for these three? All right, one sec. Actually, these two Lanvere, this artillery, and these two horse. Where are we at? Okay. That's right. These two horse and who else? And Those? these these two Lanvere, these guns, and these horse. All right. I would say the horse. The I think the Lanvere are. These two guys here are just going to stay as is. Okay. I don't have a place to really go. You can just scooch the gun up to their backside. Behind the sixth? Yeah. Okay. Horse. And the horse can still go too, right? Mm -hmm. We'll just move the horse on up this way, both of them. Mm -hmm. All right, those guys can't. So yeah, they're they're. I can't imagine what number they'd have. That they're like a twenty-eight. They're like a they twenty. Twenty. Yeah, but, they're, uh, they're, they don't have nearly that many. They're roughly a whole jillion. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the only thing that can shoot is guns, but those guns. Oh well, those are that's horse artillery. And it's not within six. Though. And it's got to be six inches, right? So, it's just just starting to note those things as they get closer and closer. <laughs> Uh, all right, that's it. So that takes us to turn 10. No, 11. Or did you, is it 9? It should be uh, 9. It nine. should be 9. Yeah. Yeah. We're odd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, the not, you're, the, yeah you're definitely yep. odd. All right, let's get uh, French <laughs> mole roll, please. All right, okay. all set. Mm -hmm. okay. Ready to back. Uh, going to yeah. activate these four up here. Yes. While he's doing that, Jim, uh, refresh me on prepared in mm -hmm. Blucher. It's I'm thinking of it as primarily an anti-cavalry thing, like going into square. It's, for, it's forming square. I mean, okay. you know, I know um, Sam disputes that. I, I understand the other things he thinks it is, but it's forming square. It, uh, so, it, it makes it much, much harder to beat you. The other thing you want to do with it is if you're in a town, you see what he's done here? It, right. a lot, it makes you garrison the, uh, the BUA. Okay. Uh, does it have any other impact in melee, like infantry, infantry melee? No. no. Okay. Um, you don't have flanks. Right. You don't have flanks. True. Uh, that's four. I could use a few more, though. Yes, please. Go for it. Uh, activate these two up here in the woods. Mike, you're going to have to dig them out like a tick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ian points out that this battle is a lot like fighting in the uh, United Kingdom. If it's not raining, it will be soon. Uh, that's two more. So that's oh. a total of six. And if Achilles wants to give it back to me again. Yes. And Red just sent us a message. Did you see it? I didn't. What does it say? It was a text message. It flashed on my screen, so I, I can't see yeah, it. Yeah, they're working on his tower again, so they've limited his internet access, you know, oh. on a freaking Saturday evening. Mm. That's 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 <laughs> offensive is what that is. Uh, see, he moved to the wrong part of California. <laughs> moved to the wrong state. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say that out loud? <laughs> Hey, I just live here in the Middle West where we don't have tornadoes much. We don't have uh -huh. floods. We don't. <laughs> Up here in Wisconsin? Nah. All right, Velker's coming. Now you're in trouble. Oh, great. <laughs> Mike just went woo-hoo, so. <laughs> well, that changes that changes the entire tactical situation on the on my right-hand side. <laughs> 
Oh, that's retreat, another... Retreat, one, just four, retreat. Four, five, six. <laughs> six plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 13. 13. There's one more I'd like to move. You'll Thir give it me. 13 over to uh, Achilles. You want to pass it back or no? Um, Actually, that's, you might as well take it. Take it because it, we could be out. Okay. Yeah, we're pretty close. Okay. I don't have <laughs> too much to do here. Uh, let's see. Where am I? You're joining Mike. You're you're the left wing over here, Vilker. You got all these nice Russians. Mm, those are a lot of nice Russians. And filthy. Do you have filthy? Yes, you have filthy, filthy Cossacks. Excellent. Indeed, he does. Now you heard everything that there's no shooting of any kind except artillery, which has only a six-inch range. Okay. It's all melee all the time. Nice. I like. All melee all the time. It's, uh, yeah. Oddly <laughs> enough, that suits Velker's intentions. Yes. I believe he intends to attack. Wait! But that means the only the thing game. I can do is attack? God, dang it. <laughs> Son of a... I do? <laughs> Are there any specific uh, VPs? Yes, the, uh, the victory points are taking these two bridges. You must try to take these two bridges. Or, and this is really more Mike's to do, unless you want to try to help him out with it. He has to clear all these French off this big plateau space over here on the right. That's a lot of French. It is. A lot of Prussians. A lot of French. And this body of water, Bilker, is unpassable. Okay. This river is all this big river is also <laughs> impassable. Yeah, there's yeah, the you can't cross that river except there's, at the bridges. There's there's untouchable fish in there. Uh no touch fish. <laughs> you get skirmies, have to fight the French. Well, that's okay. Um, I'm actually done. Um, the ones, the, it doesn't matter whether I just moved them in place, right? Correct. They still count. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so we're, we're, pivoting we're is then. moving. And, uh, and, and yeah, you're done. Okay. So that's it. We go to turn 10. Turn 10. Let me take a quick peek into the scenario because, believe it or don't, we're getting super close to where guys show up. It's also weather check time. Is uh -oh. that right? Yes. Have we, have we got that can't be? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Look at you do. Did I? <laughs> look at you doing math. I rolled a six on the weather check. Uh, another light rain situation. Damn. Better pattern. Better better. Yeah, we're not... All that counting is hurting my head. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> nobody authorized you to do math. You're telling me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, because the, uh, the only French reinforcements show up on turn 17. And the allies show up... 16. At, uh, they've, got, they've got a little more than that. They've got the one at 16 for sure. Oh, that's where it is. Saint Pri I I knew it. Yeah. Saint Priest yep. arrives as reinforcements this turn. Yeah. So Velker, it's these units, I will leave you to command them, but they come on over here. which of these two road this this road here, Velker. Mm. Got it. And but they come on during the reinforcement phase, so Yeah. But if you wanted to start lining them up you could. Yeah, it's probably not a bad idea, especially since now the uh, well, you, but the Austrians got to go now, right? Do we give we you you did the weather? What 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 Austrians? Thank you, Prussians and Russians. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I'm I'm shooting around the target. That's kind of amazing, really. Um, did the French give the Allies their modice? Uh, we have not. I don't believe. Right. No, I don't, I don't that, think that so. looks like a familiar number to me, so I didn't think so. Go ahead and roll then. All right. It is done. Okay. Mike. All right. So what is what is the artillery range again? Six inches. Six. Six. Does, does McDonald need to be anywhere on the field? Nope. He, okay. You would slap him down for a command roll, but it doesn't do any good because he doesn't have the ability. Oh, okay. Can I just put him out there for the fun of it? Sure, absolutely. <laughs> okay, here comes the right, horse. Um, 
artillery. And we have a visibility of, what is it, nine inches? Well, remember, it's light rain right now. It is light rain, which means uh, during light rain, the French are at, looking, six. Right now, uh, the French are at six, and the Prussians mm -hmm. and the Russians are at eight. Eight. Thank you. That's what I... Yeah, you know, just a tad short. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Can live with that. Come on, let go. And we'll prepare these front two units. Belker, you can go ahead and start moving your guys because we have. Is that is that is that guy within range, or he was? He was. Be, he he was it. before I moved. The, okay, got it. The, no, the... They were back there last turn, though. These guys is where they ended up, right? Yeah, these guys didn't move. Right, but this cavalry unit was clear back here who was yeah, within range. Yeah, that's, that's oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, okay. That's, that, that was the chain. Yep. Yeah. All right. So, Valker, what you want to do? Um, I will come off this table. This time, after their turn, they're going to be out of command range of each yeah. other, so. Oddly enough, Valker is advancing. I'm done. <laughs> oh, my what a God. shock. <laughs> See, I told you it was completely different tactics than uh, than uh, Red was going to do. What, was he hiding up on this hill? Hiding is such a hard word. <laughs> I'll talk to his hiding. It is a true word. That's the question. <clears throat> it's like when the, when the other team takes their starting quarterback out and they put the backup in and you haven't studied him. You don't have that <laughs> film, right? Yes. Jim, can, or Chrono, since you're right there, can you give me a hand here for some sure. reason? Move these uh, guys both forward six inches for me. For some point reason, point every time I go to let go of them, they don't release. What's that? Like? What is 12 inches? Uh, that means you're lagging. Yeah, no, I know. And it keeps bouncing. It was just at he 126. Can't, he can't and... charge over water. Okay, these guys are all good. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Horses can't charge over water or trees. Can they? I thought it was trees and... We'll see. Or trees and towns? Can he charge? A cavalry unit may not make a charge... I was just looking at this page. A cavalry unit may not make a charge move through any woods or an urban area. Okay, so he can uh, charge you, Velker. So, let me give you, let me give you 12. Chrono, can... I'm what's, sorry. And, can and uh, Chrono, what's charge range again, though? Uh, maximum unit distance, okay, regardless so, of terrain. Okay, 12 inches. As long as he can see him. And that's well, the other issue. He can't see you. Yeah, there's the trick. Yeah, he can. He can, well, he can now. See there, but no, I'm, <laughs> I'm saying in the meta, he can see out to there. there. Talking. Okay, well, yeah. What was it? Back up a little bit. Mm -hmm. What do you need, oh, OJ? These two. If you can advance those two up six inches, also for me, I'd appreciate it. Why you move these I think you're running to the trees, uh, so I think it's going to be three. Okay. Yeah. Is this you're right. Anything? No, it is not. Thank you very much. Sure thing. This is actually a blindingly simple scenario. Break the French morale or hold those two bridges for 20 some turns. I'm defending these bridges? Okay. No, you're, you're, taking, them. you're taking them. They hold them right now. Okay. Can you move the horse? That's going to be it. You all okay, well, they, OJ? 
You're all Just moved. Just a connector for anything. Yep. Yep. Except there. I've got an artillery piece. In yeah, I know you do. Now. I know you do. Oh, that is your hand looking at him. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see here. Now I actually have to look at this. I think it's gonna be three dice because it's had the terrain, but it's an advantage because it's yep. canister. You are exactly right. Three with a bonus. Actual combat, people. Actual combat. Oh, boy. Boy, howdy. Yeah. <laughs> One hit. Six. Now make sure that prints, please. There. there. It was off. Yeah. Yep. Okay, got it. Look at that. See? There was fighting. Ha ha. All right. <laughs> took us ten turns to get to it. Yeah. <laughs> but we got there by uh, ooh, a little over an hour. Well, actually about an hour. Cause it took probably about 15 minutes to get everything set, if not a little more. All right. That's it then. Ain't no melees. Ain't no shootings other than that. We can't say the whole hour. We had to reset the table. Oh, good point. We had, we had a crash. Give us some credit. Turn 11. <laughs> Turn 11. Oh, uh, Velker, sorry. Did you put your guys in place I did not. for reinforcements? Okay. It's the uh, 8th Corps under St. Priest, so it's all these guys. Rule goes, you kind of got to straddle these two. Uh, either one of those roads are going to be fine as far as I'm concerned. Um, you got to come on, and they go on straight ahead six inches, and then they stop. And then you got to sort of fill in to the left, right, behind. But everybody's got to be able to, you got to be fully on the board. Can I do this? Yep, that's legit. I might need more momentum this turn again as well. Things are kind of a wonk. No, not on that plateau. He's got to be on the plateau. Yeah, I'd rather he were there. Yep. There he comes. So cavalry can charge across the water. Yes. Yes, you can cross that. You can charge across water. Okay. Okay. Trust it. Do we have modus? Uh, you do not. Oh, I apologize. I was slow on that. Go ahead, Velker. Roll it. How you do. Okay, I'm activating these two up front and repair them. Achilles, again, I may unfortunately need quite a lot of momentum this turn. I'm not surprised. I am going to need a little bit this time. So that's two right there. Do what you need to do. That's two. That's two over to you, Achilles, but skipping back, obviously, you can keep going. Chrono. Uh, activate yeah. this whole column here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. On the right map, it really does give you some spectacular vistas. <laughs> we have, just for Velker's knowledge, we have four mo dice, by the way, Velker, that are rolled. Jim, was this the turn that our morale changed also? No, it's 14, I think. 14, thank you. Yes. That's turn 9. Turn 14, you go to 14. No, turn 16, you go to 14. I have two individual activations I'd like to do, but I'll put us up to like, uh, put us up to 13. So I'm not okay, sure so that's long nine step. there over to Achilles. Achilles, are you doing anything? Um, I actually do need to do something over here, so. All right. Okay. Make sure I know what I'm going to do. Yes, Blucher is available to the allies. They just haven't used him yet. He's a, he's mobile just though, right? 
Yeah. Yeah, we never talked about that. What can he do? Nothing really. Money? Nothing really. Yeah, in the way. It, yeah it's, it's not going to benefit you a great deal. Somebody, I, I wonder if I just am missing the tactic that you're supposed to use with that command thing. What, mobile or hero? No, no, mobile. just the, uh, see, the, the commander, com the last, the commander activation. Um, it's handy. I think it's more handy in a game where we're not, I think it's more useful in a non-multiplayer game. <laughs> okay, and that could be it. Because it's useful if, like, you've done a couple moves, but you're not sure how many momentum you have left, and there's something you absolutely want to do, and you can slap them down. Or if um, there's a situation, actually, at Austerlitz, where I thought it might be good to use them, when we have a bunch of our cav mixed up, and they're all from different cores, and you want to do something. Oh, a little, a little straightening out, yeah. Yeah, so it's handy if you have a bunch of stuff mixed up for some reason, and you want to get them all straightened out. Hey, I have a question. Um, if I'm... If I um, rotate someone in place, can they still be prepared on that turn? I know the answer to this, and I never remember it. Has <laughs> think, any I, movement? I think the answer is no, parenthetically. Okay. They have to repair, or they cannot rotate, if I remember correctly, but that's me. Uh, from that's that's memory. my memory, too. Okay. All right, I am going to prepare these guys. They haven't done anything. Yes, yet. must be activated and then prepare instead of moving, and rotation is moving. Okay. It doesn't matter because they don't have flanks, but. Oops. There you go. Okay, um, that's all I'm going to move over here. So one. One, two, three, four. That's 13 total? 13 total. You done. You done. Ah, I was right. afraid of that. All right. <laughs> so real quick, Jim, I'm looking at the rule right now. In, mm -hmm. in the rules, it says, in a multiplayer game, the sync player waits until the end of a round before activating by command as normal, but in this case creates his own special round consisting only of this activation. He adjusts his own current mo and checks for to determine whether the phase ends, as one would do after any other activation round. Each side may use the sync marker to activate a force only once per turn. Sure, didn't understand that. <laughs> yeah. So, right before that, it says activating. Um, the commander is very active. He frequently roams the battlefield to do his own reconnaissance and give orders to officers on the spot. Act activating a force by command does not end the movement phase. Oh, Rather, if that's all it's saying, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If that's all it's saying, yeah, that's, I still don't, I get that part. Because right. you, so when, rather, when, you rather it your, costs when you slap down your CNC, it's the last thing you do. When, right. when Blucher does it, it's not the last thing you do. But I still don't see the advantage. I think I take Chrono's point that it's, it's sort of like this gamble that you got a funny hunch you've only got a couple of mo left and you got mm -hmm. eight things you want to do. So you slap it down and you go, all right, I bet I need these eight. And you could be wrong, but you also could get a pretty good deal out of it. I think that that's how I read it anyway. All right. And, and, and it's not real clear because I kind of read it, it in some ways, I kind of read it that you wait until you're done with your movement phase, and then you're throwing down to get a little bit of extra movement. No, it's not extra. But, but, it, yes. but it's not extra. No. no right. It's not extra. All right. that mobile does is it doesn't end the turn, because command usually does. All right. Has okay, any... so... So that's oh. it. Um, you guys are out. Nobody can shoot at nobody. Next turn. Mo dice yeah. for the allies. It's also a weather dice, isn't it? For is it 12? No, not next turn. Next turn. See, that's Chrono's. Uh, Chrono is on counting detail, yeah. as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> allies, you're up. OJ. What are we on? 12? Yes. That's correct. All right. Thank you, Bulker. 
<clears throat> Ooh, Hess gave me a big no. And correct me if I'm wrong on this, but this lead cavalry unit, even if he's turned facing this way, he doesn't have line of sight on this cavalry unit through this artillery, correct? That's correct. correct. First thing I'm going to do is activate these three yep, separate. Mm -hmm. There's a, he, the artillery is going to advance straight ahead. The two infantry are going to pivot and get up this way. So you want them six inches straight ahead? Yep. Maybe needed to move the infantry first. I don't know. It don't matter. And we set a pivot. Yep. And we're heading pivot. for the uh, we're heading for the village is what yep. we're heading for. Look at that. Yep. Just like downtown. And notice how they pivot on the center of their bases just like they're supposed to. Thank you, Has. That's three. Over to Velker. What's he activating? Oh. You can't see him. Remember? Sure? You can. Limited vis you think? Uh, it's well, he it's has nine right. inches, right? Oh, that's it's right. He's, right. He's, he's, uh, that's, he's got the nice one, yep. Yeah, yep. he can. Got it. I take that. I've, I always assume I'm looking at French people. I don't know. That's a bias. I admit it. <laughs> you can't musk it anyway, so. Uh, ooh. I don't hit him. But... That was close. Anyway. Personal. And Achilles, we're going to let you do this real quick. Well, first of all, you shouldn't mm -hmm. stack like this. Has is pointing out, and it is correct, no portion, no portion of your gun may be on the water if you want it to shoot. Is it? I didn't think it, it was. It was. Oh, I moved, I moved sorry. <laughs> Thank you. It wasn't that's, intended that's, to be. I didn't think so. <laughs> that's a has thing. And by the way, that would also apply to these guys, but as we know, there's no musketry, so it's irrelevant. How far do you get pushed back if you lose the combat? Base step. Uh, With. I thought it was two. Is it two? Wow. I'll double check, but. Yeah, I mean, six inches. Get... That sounds right. Yep, that sounds right. Now that you say you, can, it. you don't have to push the guys behind you back. You can go through them and go further back. Mm -hmm. Too many rule sets. Can't remember. Yeah, just look. <laughs> I feel your pain, Velker. <laughs> That's 10. What do you think about that, French people? Uh, they can continue. Continue, OJ. All right. Just going to take these two infantry and advance them up three inches, or... Yeah, that's a max. Those there? Do. Yeah. Yeah, my far left. I don't know why my ping times are bouncing all over the board tonight, like they are. I have a feeling just everybody's watching shows. All right, so you got those two. Yep. Anybody else that was close enough, or is that it? Uh, these guys would still be close. Oh, yeah, no, like, because we'd have to do a chain right yeah, exactly. here. Well, well, it doesn't matter, really, because I'm on the first move, so then it would go back to Velker anyways. So. True. So let's That's just go ahead. Two, let's two, just go five, ahead. And, six, seven, eight, nine? Seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Yep. And I'm going to move them up. The lead, well, just, yeah, all three of them. We'll move the lead one up to here. Basically getting set up to charge his cavalry if it's still there at the end. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know what? Leave this guy. Well, his infantry can't charge cavalry, can it? Oh, yes, can. you can. In blue, yeah, you can. can. It's not a good idea. Yeah. You can do it. No. Leave this guy facing this way. Mm -hmm. We'll keep those infantry honest for a change. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're French. All right. Welcome. Yes. You? By the way, First. Ohio State won their, the Rose Bowl. Hey, and it, that was that was apparently a real barn burner too. It was. They kicked the field goal with like ten seconds left. Wow! Holy crap! When I was watching the first half, they were down twenty-one to seven, and I gave up on them. 
Yep. Nope. They they pulled it out. Big Ten see, went six and six and four this year in bowl games. See now, see now. Look at what Red is saying as to why he doesn't have internet. That's just dumb. Why doesn't he have internet? Somebody was firing off his gun for New Year's and took out the tower. Oh my Lordy. god. That's awful. That's gonna cost somebody a hell of a lot of money. Are we sure that Red doesn't live in Texas? I mean <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I mean, that sounds that sounds like parts of California. Mm -hmm. Sounds like part of California I grew up in, honestly. That's four more. That's four more plus thirteen. Yeah, I'm sure you're done, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. They're well, done at thirteen. Uh, I figured like... they were. I figured they were long, long done. All right, but we got we got Velker because Velker. We got a melee and some gunnery, perhaps gunnery. Yeah. OJ. Uh, yes. That's uh two with a bonus. So I'm just making sure it, it updated to two dice. Ooh, oh, ow, ow. Ow. there we go. Spunky. Oh, wow. Seriously spunky on yes, that one. Yes, okay. Yes, that's what I like. Them horse see. guns come rolling up and poke at some car. You know, but it's it's indicative of the quality of horse by this time in 1813 uh, from from these boys. Notice even the the you know, the carabinier or the carab the carabiners. My God, even they're just Carbiners. a six. <laughs> Even they're just a six. But there's some melees, or at least one, right, Fucker? Yeah, there's just one. Uh, melee, there it is. Uh, da, 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 da. Six. Now my guns, my guns don't have a shot. You don't right? get to shoot. You shoot in your turn, not in his. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Six to six, Fucker. You got a shot, but you also have cavalry in your front. So, so. Uh, Chrono, or sorry, not Chrono. That's uh, that's Achilles. Six and six. Yes. Looking for four, five, six. Okay, so I roll. I'm rolling four. six dice. Four for Valker. Yep. Two. Three. Win by two. Oh. And you go back six inches facing the wrong way. Booker needs some lessons in Russian. Six inches, right? Mm -hmm. And spin yourself around. Velker, right. you can advance into the space if you wish. That's a no-brainer for Velker, isn't it? <laughs> it's back a bit. It's not three. It's not a full base. So you just take the space. So it's the depth. There you go. And two. Mm -hmm. All right. I think that's it, right? That's it. I think so. Well, first blood is... Well, actually, OJ drew first blood the last time he had the dice. But there's a bunch more drawn. See? Actual meleeing, actual fighting. Here we go. Turn fourteen. Does no, he take any? Does it's he take any? 13, yeah. any... No, no he takes no damage. Okay. What? Oh, I thought he did. I thought you took a, a hit automatically on a yeah. melee. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. That's why I asked. Is that right? Wow. I thought in blue. Yeah, yeah. In it's, blue, it's the same. Yeah. It's the same as in LaSalle. Melee. I know horse sure does. I know horse. Yeah, I know. Does. Horse, I know horse, did horse all. Does. I thought infantry did also. Attacker outcomes. If attacker outscored, yeah, take one fatigue. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I get the rules and I know everything. Oh, no, it's beautiful. <laughs> that's the best. That's, that's that's empowering. It keeps me from making dumb mistakes. No, I just remember that because it's been drilled into my head. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah no, it's, 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 it is one of the things we talk about that Sam says, look, you want to fight, you fight, but it's going to cost you. Right. Yeah. And, and and it's a rule that I actually agree with, and I'm glad there it, it exists in both both Lasalle and Bluger because mm -hmm. I think yeah. it makes it, it makes keeps, perfect sense. It keeps absolutely it right. Keeps plowing through an entire place and not getting hurt at all. Right, Which right, exactly. It, it, it keeps one strong unit from becoming a bulldozer. All the uh, okay. C and C. Yeah. So there it is. <laughs> uh, so this is turn thirteen. Yeah. Am I right? Sounds right. And um, which, yes. if that is the case, who rolls for the weather this time? Who's turn uh, is it? Uh, Chrono, go uh, ahead. Uh, Chrono. Chrono, all right. Allies. One. Oh, guess what just happened, ladies and gentlemen? It's snowing. It's snowing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a blizzard. <laughs> it's a blizzard. Uh, you, you brought that heavy rain, my friend. As a result, uh, let's see no here. Fighting all fighting comes to a halt. 
all must disengage to get a one base width gap between them. No, is, come on. Is there a? Uh, is, <laughs> is there in fact a base width gap? There no. There, but nope. Here now they must go equidistant. It's you know no no Velker you go back an inch and a half. And now they have to go back. They got to unprepare. Yeah. That kind of sucked. That's all right. Actually, they were going to unprepare anyway. What was that? Thing? Disengaging to an inch and a half. Same here. Uh, if that's so, Velker, I, I would say you can push back or interpenetrate either way. Yeah, you're not. Okay. Gonna, you're not going to get there. So. Well, this guy's got to go back an inch and a half too. These guys all to go back. Each have to go back half an inch. Yeah. Wait, why well, is this guy undersized? No, no, this guy's got. Yeah, this the French have to go back. He doesn't. He already went his inch and a half. This guy? No, he didn't. This is the guy who he just took that spot last turn. Yeah, he just took oh, it away didn't. from I me. I thought I saw him move him. Okay. This guy? Not no. yet. That guy took, no. took space. Okay, so back. So this guy's got to go back, and it, and this guy's got to go back an inch Eight. and a half. Well, they're only two inches apart. Oh, so. Doesn't matter. They, they you, but then, it, well, it's got to be. You're gonna have to split it up then, if you want to go an inch. If you just want to go an inch, I get. I take your point, Chrono. If you want to just bump him up that half, and then he can come up a half. Although then he's right here again, so they might have to keep going. Well, then he'll have to keep going. Yeah. So I think both these guys keep going. Yeah. And then this guy goes back another inch. Yeah. Complicated rule. Well, it's it has complicated. It's a simple rule. It has insanely complicated consequences. But you can see what he intends. He wants there to be now this gap. Yes, yeah, general disengagement. You should have seen this at nighttime at Leipzig. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. And also, now over here. here. Is it well, is it if they're within a certain range? Is that right? They must they must have three inches between them. Okay. And whoever, it's got to be an equidistant sort of a thing. So right. half an inch for both these guys. Now, when when all of this is done, we still get our move, right? No, you're going to the next turn. We're going to reroll for the weather. But yeah, it'll be you. No, they're unprepared. Okay. Not that, not that we can fight. Yeah, and it's, yeah and it, you'll get your, but to your point, you will get your turn back. That's fine. You're fine. Where probably, you am I, Jim? Yeah, you're fine. Okay, I was about to say if I have to, then I have no. to go back further. But uh, anybody else within anybody else closer than three inches? I don't think so. Uh, the gun and I are so close enough. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now, how does that work? Because Vilker had already moved back once. Well, it's, it's, well it's, you got to keep doing it. I think. Okay. You, you, you can't. So it's it's a small move, but uh, he is gonna have that gun's gonna have to choose. Because he's got it, well, but to Chrono's point, you moved point seven, right? Eight, but yeah. You moved point eight. How far apart are you? Uh, we are 2.4. It's 1.2 each. Why 1.2? That's half. You're 2.4 apart. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's point three. It's point yeah. three each. Yeah, so you can just shuffle all that back. There you go. That's just, fine. just point three. Yep. Okay. You have established it. Good deal. All right, we got our first rainstorm. Way to go, Chrono. Correct. <laughs> Actually, benefits us, I think. I don't know. So, well, I guess since we're on, I mean, since we're on the defensive. Yeah, you're on the defensive. Well, here's I think the part that really benefits you, is that it now burns uh, not one, not two, but three turns. So do we just skip the turns, or we just can initiate combat? You skip them. Oh, we can still move. No, right? No, you skip them. Oh, it, it's, oh, we skip them. Yeah, it's, oh. it says, uh, where did it go here? All units must disengage. All fighting comes to a halt. Exception being other game turns are skipped until the next turn, where the weather dice is rolled again. Okay. Wow. Does that mean their turn sixteen reinforcements aren't showing up, or? They're skipped. They 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 get their they're going to get their reinforcements at sixteen or the the next time oh. they're eligible. Yeah, but I'll say we have to roll for them anyways. Yeah, but it is now turn seventeen. Those turns are he says skipped. Okay, I guess I'll roll for the weather again. Yeah. <laughs> 
Not right, light right, the light, light rain. rain. <laughs> uh, what do we roll for our reinforcements? Or they just show up. Yeah, he does have to roll for reinforcements. Yeah, same just, with the uh, French. Uh, the the French actually the, the French only have one reinforcement and they have to roll for it. Okay, so we, should we do that then? Yeah, go for it. Uh, what do you roll? It's going to be a one d six. Let me get the uh, core load out here. Du, 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 du. And do we go ahead and roll for our reinforcements to in, see if in they your come turn? On? Yeah, in our turn. Okay. Yeah. One d three. It arrives. One to three. One or... to three. One two three. No. Nope. No. I'll see you next turn. <laughs> All right. All right. So mo dice, mo dice please. Well, as has pointed out, this game can end Hold quick. Up. What's up? Yeah, go ahead and roll the mo dice. It's you, Valker. Got it. Okay. I'm going to activate one, two, three, four, five, six, seven over here. Oh, eight. I'm going to activate eight total over here. All right. How long is this scenario? 28 turns. 28? Mm -hmm. Okay. But as you can see, they go pretty quickly. <laughs> oh, yeah, indeed. For some reason in my head, I was thinking it was 20, and, and I was like, wait a minute. That's, we're <laughs> done. Hooray. We did it. The bridges are ours. <laughs> Hey Prussians, the uh, or allies, the uh, the the Janovitz Plateau is lousy with uh, French people. I just thought you should know. Yep. Oh, it's lousy with us too. Now Velker can reserve move these guys on the eighth core, right? It can be reserved. Yeah, moved. guys who guys who are coming on, they may reserve move. Yes. Okay, so that's eight from me. Uh, anything you want to do for there, Achilles? Indeed. I do want to do a couple other activations, but if you need the movement, take it. Uh, yeah, actually, I'm only going to need two points. I'm only going to need to move two, group, two units. So. Okay. One is to turn these guys back around. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one... The problem with that is, remember, that's, you got, unless you're going to do individual activations... You gotta activate both these guys together. Okay. And whoever so, else you want to get to is gonna cost you kind of like electricity. So mm -hmm. you you can say so. Who's the other guy you want to activate? Uh, the nineteenth uh, second brigade. Over you here. may want to activate these guys anyway, just to shift them off the river, because I'll give them a demarcation in hand to hand combat. Yep. Oh, it does. Yes. Oh, okay. That's yeah, difficult terrain. Well, that would be unfortunate. <laughs> so that'd be one, two, three, four, then. Actually, then, all right, let me, um, yeah, then I'm going to need to move a lot more uh, uh, than I anticipated. Okay. Uh, We're an eight right now, so. Yeah. How critical is yours, Bruno? Um, well, I want to get my cavalry out of the way <laughs> here, and I want to get this guy prepared for uh, this infantry that's coming down the road at him. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and do that? And then I will do all mine. Okay, you got to do one more in this group to avoid okay. it being an individual move and getting you off core activations. Um, why, don't move, why don't I move one of these guys? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, that's eight, nine, ten. You can keep going, Krana. Okay. Um, I want to. Is this guy far enough in to prepare in here, or do I have to move him? He's fine. Further in? Okay, so I will prepare him. And that's an individual activation. So that's uh, 12. Oh, you're doing that as an individual? Okay. I can't. This guy's too far away. Oh, okay. So that's 12 over here to Achilles. Do you want to pass back, or do you want to go do something, Achilles? Hey, what did you need to do with your calves? I just wanted to pull this guy out of the way. He's he's actually in the woods or whatever, right? So the only thing you have to worry about is artillery fire. He's actually not in the woods because he's leading his front end out. Yeah. Ah. So you're concerned he's going to get charged or hit by the artillery? Uh, both. <laughs> both. Yeah. Neither is a desirable okay. outcome at this point. Yeah, and uh, yeah, he's a little low too. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Fourteen over to you, Achilles. All right. Uh, let's see. I need to move these guys. One, two, three. Why are you running away? We were just starting to get <laughs> to know each other better. Yes. Okay, he is officially out of the river, right? Agree. And so is he, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. You may want to shift your gun, so he's probably going to charge you next turn. But if you want to try and shoot, get a shot off before he does that. I would love to get a shot off. <laughs> that would be nice. Then you just got to leave it sit. Yep, okay. Okay. And let's uh, let's prepare this infantry, the uh, 19th 2nd Brigade. All right, that should do it for me. All right, that's uh, 14, 15, 16, 17. How's that? Allies? Uh, Probably hang on. done. We only had three dice. Yep. Figured. Just wanted to hear it. Yep. Our, uh, artillery fire sounded like a, sounded like Achilles had some. You got some too. Yep. All right. There it is. Sure enough. Uh, canister range. Canister it has range. to be. It's got to be. Yeah, I was going to say you can't <laughs> shoot anywhere else. Three with a bonus. Pow! Bang! Pow! Bang! Pow. The sound oh, effects. The sound effects are key. <laughs> I agree completely. Uh, another one over here. Achilles had his shot. Yep, there over yep. to here. That is uh, five. That is sorry. It's three with a bonus. Had a bonus. And you do have you have to shoot at the closest, right? With any canister range, you do. Okay. Oh yeah. Got one. Got one. I'll Bang pow. No melees, right? You didn't start <laughs> no. that way. Okay. Didn't start no melees. All right, here we go. Going to uh, having skipped an entire phase. Uh, now the uh, French, now the Allies check to see if they got reinforcements. They didn't get them, so so we go over to the French turn. Wait, wait, wait. You, we you, mean we didn't you, get them. That's the Allies. We just did ours. Yeah, you. The Allies are. Yeah, oh, we haven't checked for our reinforcements. Oh, okay. Yeah. Allies. It's the French that didn't get the reinforcements. Got it. That's that's what I was wondering. So let's do that. Nice allied people. We should have done that, of course. Before. No, it's actually after. What am I saying? We're mm -hmm. doing fine. We're actually doing the right thing for a change. Who knew? <laughs> We're doing it right, even if by accident. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I rolled a two. <laughs> rolled a two. All right. That means they're going to be there. Uh, you've yeah, actually yeah. remember. You've actually got two groups. I thought they yep. needed four, five, six. I don't know. Well, let me see. Nope. One to three arrives this turn. Yeah, because right. you rolled like a five. Yeah, you rolled six. a five. I don't know. Uh, 11th Corps right wing arrives. And now you also have to dice for the uh, third core, third cavalry right wing. 
dice. You must roll a die. Uh, I clicked it. There it goes. Three. Both coming. And where do they come on exactly at? On the road also? Nope. Remember, we talked about this. They come on over here, kind of in this space, be between your die roller where, and the road. Where uh, first core started. Yeah, except uh, yeah, except more that way, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, basically the same area that yeah. first core started mm -hmm. at. Oh, come on. And the, and the cavalry, which is in the back, is to the right of this 11th core. Okay. So the 11th core should be over here. The cavalry should be to its right over there. Six All right. inches. I... All right. Do we have mo dice rolled? Uh, uh, yes. I... Well, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Jim. Oh, you may go. Ahead well, you don't. Yeah, that's true. You don't. You don't get those guys now anyway. They come out right. The end of the turn. Yeah, they come out at the end of the turn. So. Right. Uh, first things first. Here we go. Mo dice are rolled. Mike. All right. Activate these three over here on my right again moving mm -hmm. toward the village the artillery is going to aim for this edge this side of the village basically this guy's going to end up in the village mm -hmm. with the artillery here and the other infantry here is where I'm trying to get to a little form a line like this I do believe, Chrono, he's trying to keep your reinforcements from coming in. I think you're right. <laughs> and what? And you want this boy to go s to turn to his right a little bit there? Yeah, I think you want him over here somewhere. Yeah, Mike. Like I said, the the my the question is: Do you want me to march him through tents, or is he coming up behind the guns? Um, it really doesn't matter. He can go through the village. Yeah, I, I, I would. He's say not going to. Yeah, because yeah. he's like I said. The the the, perp, the the goal is to have a line here, infantry, artillery, then infantry again. So, right. you know, it slows him down going through the village some, but I don't know that it matters too much. Put him behind the artillery, will slow him down too. So it doesn't really matter. Right. Yeah, yeah that's what I meant. Yeah. Guns are serious too. Uh, okay, so that's three for OJ Velker. I think it's turned slightly more just in the center. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, anyway, yeah. <laughs> My poor guns that never, no, ever got those to guys, shoot. Those guys, <laughs> they shot once. They those guys are good. too far away for oh, to right. activate with this core. Yeah, yeah. I forgot. I that. They did get All to right. shoot once. And then they got run over by infantry. <laughs> oh, so close and yet not. <laughs> Remember, you got to uh, stop at three. Yeah, stop unless, it. unless you're yes. going to hit him, which he does. Which he's got to turn to fate. He's yeah, turn to let's fate let's then. back this up and see what that looks like. Nope, nope. But remember, go back. You got to go straight. That's your problem. I would think. Actually, oh, that's actually way better. That than I thought. Look. That's much better than I thought. Counts. Okay. Next. Nope, nope. That you can't do. You gotta, you gotta, you, you can only turn at the beginning, and then it's, yep, okay. that you can do. I just, I just realized the way I was going wasn't yeah. straight with the way I was facing, so I just kind of turned it midway. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's probably does work out. That's math, though. I don't like it. <laughs> I understand. Right, so that is... Worse, isn't that like and, geometry okay, and these, or something? And these boys are sitting back there. Unfortunately, these guys are now all separates as well. Yeah. And those guys are separates. So, uh, OJ did three. You did one, two, three, four, seven. five, six, seven. Total of ten. Can they keep going? Yes. They make, yep. Continue. All right, OJ, to you. All right. I'll activate both of these units. Yes. And we will melee into town here. Pow. All right, all that's right. 12. Was that close and enough? Yeah, they're all prepared. They'd be fine. This cavalry unit has no chance to charge this artillery, do they? 
I don't think so, because they'd be I, clipping this guy I, here. Yeah, I don't think geometry works out for him. Yep. Oh, God, there's that ugly word again. <laughs> <laughs> now I know you're out in the artillery. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> you could probably charge the 7th Brigade, but that'd be about it. Uh, they're in the woods, though. <laughs> don't make me turn on the picture. Yeah, I'd, I guess I I'd say they're probably in the woods. I would agree with that. They're in the woods and on a hill. Yeah, are those woods a separate hill, or are they just, or is that just like no? It's a, it's, it's not a hill. Corner? It's a depression. Oh, is it? Yeah, you guys. Oh, yeah, are, you guys are seeing it. Ground. You guys are seeing it inverted. Oh, yeah. Of course, you have depression. It's raining. Good point. <laughs> it's a lake the, now. See, you can see it's <laughs> they're all yeah. Actually, they're being downhill is the bigger deal. They're all hiding in this little veil. Hmm. That's a fun word. Mm, veil. That's a good word. Okay, then it'll just be these two. Over all right, so that's fourteen total over to Velker. Correct. Oh, Cossacks in the backfield. <laughs> 12, 16. How about now? Uh, let me check. Uh, they can keep going. OJ. I didn't expect that. Mm. This gun, does he have, he does, hey, is that within the 45 or do I need to rotate? Kind of, did you, okay, you're rolling on the, you rolled. What's his name? Oop. Got it. What's this now? The horse artillery. Is he within the 45 or do I need to rotate him a little bit? Where are you? Sorry. Right here. Uh, remember, you can't see them. Oh, that, they're I can't. In that, because they're, they're in, in that wee valley. You could see them. Oh. You could fire counter okay. battery if you wanted to. But you'd have to turn it. Right. Yeah, yeah. For that, I knew, obviously. Yeah, no, none of these guys are going to be visible to you. So these guys can't see me to charge coming out of these. Correct. Out of the valley. No, I'd okay. have to move up to, like, here. And then okay. Yeah. And, and I'm good with that. So right at the moment, I don't have anything else to move until my reinforcements come on. All right. That's 14. Um, over to you, Velker. And Velker, just as a reminder, you, can, you could activate 8th Corps and reserve march them on up quite a ways. I if, forgot if, about I, those guys. Yeah, and, and I was and that's why I want, wondered, right? Because I, no matter what, I'm guessing we're going to be about out of dice. I don't have anything else to do. Right. I'm guessing we're about out of mo dice unless... Yeah, so and I'll, I'll be honest, I wasn't watching all your moves, so... I'll work on these guys. Alright. Move 18? 36, in, 36 inches, but you got to stay away 12 inches in line of sight, so you got to... Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's not going to have any. You got that and then some. Technically, he could bring some guys up into here if he wanted to because they wouldn't have line of sight on him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I was saying. Velcro. You're going to have to stay one base step back from there. That's what we've sort of said ridges are. Ah. Does it does it follow uh, terrain? You just can't go over bad terrain unless you're following a road. With this bad terrain? Oh yes, it's the worst terrain. Can I move through that? No, not on a reserve move. You can't cross the river except at the bridges. Oh. Hey, 
Jim, take a look at Hazard's last comment there real quick. I don't think it's going to apply because the village is more than six inches away from the table's edge here. Yeah, I'll the, uh, the entering fresh uh, Cost Yeah, half. right. And it's, and so I don't, but that's, they're not within six inches. Right. That's what I was saying, though. I don't think it, and I don't think he realized what the distance was. So I, I just wanted to make sure we were all on the same page with that yep. before it became an issue. So thank mm -hmm. you. Mm hmm. As your question was a was a valid good one though. <laughs> Alright, so you moved them all up, Felker? Yep. Alright, y'all are done, obviously. Um Gunfire. Did you get a gun up that can shoot? Not on it. No, I do not have any gunfire. No, I didn't think so. Okay, and therefore uh Velker melees, which one you want? Alright, so you're gonna need five. Uh, does, oh man, okay, this is me forgetting blue curve. The, the, the terrain that is a the minus one. Minus I one die. Yeah. He loses a die. Really sick. If I had to roll sixes and fives in it. And you're undersized. Ooh, that's a that's a rough one. That's not the same combo. Oh, sorry, that's not the one you want. You want this one. Um six, five, and they are Who'd we lose? Nobody. That was a popping sound. I... No, I'm good. I didn't hear it. No. I'm here. Oh, good. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, uh, five for Velker and six oh. for uh, for Achilles. Five to six. Two. Two. Many. Four. Oof. So, takes two. Goes back six inches. Wrong way. Uh, no, bounce. Takes one. Next. Now this one looks damn near Oh yeah, so that's uh, five, four, three. Yep. Three to four. I'm on three, right? You're on four. Oh, I'm four. I got all three. Mm -hmm. But he got all three. He got one. Uh, <laughs> yes. The First blood. Of you may advance one base width. Uh, has corrected us. That is a decrement to the Prussian morale, taking it to nine. It's going to go up shortly, but. The French. Oh, to the French morale, duh. <laughs> we were at seven. We were at seven. That's a decrement to the French morale down to seven. All right. One more. And you have one more. There's a Velker win over them guns. Uh, that's a six versus a six to five. Oh, this time I'm at five. Mm -hmm. Four. Three. Three. Win. You should take one, I think. Yep. You just take one, and he's got to go back six inches facing the wrong way. Can I push him off the map? No, he can He can veer. As a matter of fact, he should. Because the direction you have. Yes, th you get to go based up. Do I go straight forward, or do I follow him? You go straight forward. The Russian attack near uh, that little In, bird he's developed. Jim, I think we had one melee on my side of the table too. Did you? Oh, that's right. You yeah, you're in the village. Oh, one yeah. of these. One oh, of these. Oh. You, um, didn't you didn't demark this uh, Russian brigade? They were at five coming into this. Thank you. And they should also be at five. Cause, yeah. No, wait, that's these guys. Never mind. No, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. misremembering. Where's the guys that won? There they are. Well, I marked these guys. Yeah. Those guys are marked. It's the... Uh, Which ones aren't what marked? That's the, where's the concern? Is that Those the guys didn't first, fight. They got hit by our children. Oh, that's the gun. That's the gun that killed. Got it. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, okay, there we go. And the... Uh, I did mark was the third the... five. But they got hit by the gun. They were at five. Ah, the end. thank you. That's what I was confused by. Yeah. And... Did I just make sure I decremented the horse part? Yeah, that's. Okay. I did. Yes. Yeah. Got it. Decrementing has occurred. All right, this is. 
So this is going to be 6 down to 5, and this is going to be 6 up to what? Uh, 8. 6 to 8. So it's 5 to 8. Mike, you got eight. You got the 5. Yeah, I was say, I think I got 5. And 3, three hits. 3. three. Oh, 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 so close, and yet. So far. Still, that's a nick. Uh, all right, these guys got to go back. They bounce back six yep. inches, uh, facing the right way. Yep, Velcro, can you go ahead and move them back for me? My ping's still all over the place. Thank you, sir. There you go. Your mother raised your right to be a proper young man. <laughs> Thank you. That was almost. That was almost. Okay. <laughs> my father did have a part in it as well. My father had a part. I was wondering. <laughs> he, he 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 just said yes, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not too wrong. All right, what are we doing here? Is that it? That was all the melees. Yes, that is. Yes. All right, that takes us to turn. Takes us to shouldn't this somebody's turns? What turn are we on, Chrono? Nineteen. Okay, I thought I saying something was up there. Uh, did the allies bring on their reinforcements? They did not bring them no, out. No, not yet. <clears throat> and you said the infantry has to be on the left side and the cavalry on the right hand Correct. side? Correct, exactly. All right. <clears throat> I'm just moving these guys up here out of the way for the moment. Velker, can you give me a hand here? So it'd be these four infantry here on here, basically... They have to go basically just this side of the road. Heading up to the garage. Yep. And then the cavalry just goes to the right of them. And I'd put the three regulars up front and the two Cossacks in the rear, kind of like they are now. It's just, just got to be, be, you got six inches, I'm assuming you did the measure. Uh, a little did too I? far or forward. Or did I? Yeah. A little too far forward. Yeah. Maybe shift everything to the left so the cavalry doesn't clip this. Go back point four. Oh, you, you had it. Just, yeah, just point four is all you needed. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I was going to check that, Jim. I would just... You, you might need to shift everything to the left a little bit so the cavalry doesn't clip the village when it advances up. There you go. Thank you, sir. And when is our next weather check, Chrono? Uh, not till turn 21. 21. Oof. Rolling right along. Uh, okay, but this is 19, which means that the allies owe them uh, some modus. Should I go ahead and check for reinforcements again? Achilles? Sir? It's, 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 uh, it's reinforcement check time. Oh, okay. Nope. Yeah, again. Six. They've, they've chosen, they, they've heard things weren't going well. <laughs> things are going great i don't know what they're talking about yeah it's sunny it's beautiful <laughs> come out to the coast have a few laughs all right modice are in french play all right i'm activating these two cavalry brigades hello That's two over to Achilles. All right. Let's see. That's, that's Achilles. Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to activate. Well, first of all, um, what's the support rule in Blucher? Is there any? Ain't none. There is here's none. If I hit him with two stands, does it matter? Yes, it, but you got to make the geometry work. Okay. And it's, and it's much harder than you think. Yeah, imagine. All right, let's see if I, I want to see if I can do this. Mm -hmm. I want to move he... this guy straight forward. Mm -hmm. That works. Okay. And then this guy. You're going to hit your own guy first. Yeah. 
All right. Well, never mind then. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> we didn't mean it. Y'all just stay right It's a radically different game when you can't musket fire. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, definitely. Yeah. You could have. Ah, this, this guy can. Yeah. And All right. Move this. You have to move this guy up to protect his flank, but yeah. I, yeah. He's going to hit this guy first. Is he? Yep. Let's see. This guy's actually a little bit out to the right of this guy. If you wrote, I mean, you could rotate him slightly to the left, and that might let you clear. You're going to hit him. You can't do that. He yeah. can't. You, he, he can't hit him. You can't interpenetrate an, an yeah. opposing. You can interpenetrate your own unit on a turn, but not, not the enemy. Right. Actually, I don't think I want to do that anyway in the long run, because then he's going to get slammed. Okay, let's uh, instead could counter him, but I think I think we need to. This guy needs to go to prepare. And like okay. I said, you just got to tell me who you're activating because so far the, nobody's um, activated, and I need to know which core right. are going. It's well, this is all fifth core. Mm -hmm. And I don't have anybody who, else over here, so who, it's fifth core who, or nineteenth, nineteenth of the fifth core, first brigade. Okay. That's one. Who else? And what's he going to do? He's preparing. Oh, okay. And what else? Okay. Uh, let's see. He can't do it. Hey. Who? hey, Velcro, can you keep an eye on the Modice for a minute? Or these guys, I got to step away for just two minutes. Yeah. So if you do him, you're basically, you know, in a range of who you can activate. Okay. Now, these guys, actually, I think they'll just stay right where they are. Okay. Yeah, actually, he's the only one then. All right, so we'll just say that, that guy activated for two, unless you're unless you're done, you want to say you're going to individual orders. Um, I actually am done. Oh, um, is there... Um, I'll have to do uh, your individual activation for that. Is there... Um, uh, oh, what's the word? Um... When you try to get some of your lost oh, rally, yeah, yeah, but rally. That's the word I could not think of. He is, too, is there such a he thing? He can't. He's, he's too close. You, yes, okay. you have to be uh, two base widths away. Okay. All right, then I am done. All right. That's four since, total. Since That's, Jim yeah. won't let me do anything, won't let me do any of the fun <laughs> things. Wow. Four, four to Ukraine. What a meanie. Meanie beanie. <laughs> uh, let's see. Can activate this gun and this cavalry here. Not quite. That's two. Mm -hmm. Over to Achilles. That's six total. Uh, they're all all the rest of them are yours. I'm. I don't know uh, do you want to do, do? Do you want to do something with this guy and turn him around so we don't get charged in the room? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot he was reversed. <laughs> Pull him back so you, this way. I am better attention to my guys than I am. That's sad. Yeah, I'm not sure he can I, charge you anyway because he's gonna clip the town. But seems likely. Well, it's better that they're looking the right direction anyway. That's eight. <laughs> yep, yeah, eight back to you, Colonel. Uh, let's see. I activate these two brigades. Oh. Uh -huh. I'm back, by the way.
to be 10. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Uh, gonna go to individual activation. Activate this light cavalry. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's horses coming that way, Mike. I see them. I see that them. Should be twelve. Correct. Okay. And then we'll try to rally the first carabiners. Isn't that a sep? That's a separate activation. It, he's already right? on. Yeah. yeah. He's already yeah. on individuals. So. Yeah. Right, but what I'm saying though is he did one individual activation that goes back to. Achilles does it. It, it does, but well, Achilles basically you missed this, but Achilles is basically passing. Okay. Mm -hmm. But okay. but this guy here was twelve, right? Yeah. So he's done. Oh. Oh, is okay. My point. Oh. oh, very good. That's my point. <laughs> is, well you, that makes a difference. <laughs> well then then you're done then. <laughs> okay then. Okay. Well I will fire my guns at these guys again. Two of the bonus. Nothing. Any other guns? Uh, no, you guys moved. So. Achilles guns is dead. Yep. Yes. So that's that. All right. Thanks for the painful reminder. <laughs> Why don't you give me a paper cut <laughs> and put lemon juice in it? Turn 20. Turn 20. Eight to go. This is crazy. We don't do weather check until 21, correct? Next turn. Next right. turn, yep. And what is the visibility for the French and the allies? This is the light rain. And so, and so, in light rain, French are six. Six and nine. Prussians are eight. Eight, sorry. Six, six and eight. Six and eight. Did you already roll them, Chrono, for their mode? Yeah, I rolled their mode. Okay. So you have and, Mo. Yeah, that's right. OJ, you got Mo. All right. Uh, activate the cavalry. Res uh, cavalry reserve here. Yep. Mm -hmm. These guys are going to charge into these guys. Mm -hmm. The Landwehr cavalry is going to make a right turn to head toward the uh, Light Cavalry Brigade. Probably not going to reach them, but they'll at least get over that way. Nope, nope. I'm sorry, Jim. The one, the one in the rear. The cream-colored horses. How about those boys? And we'll attack. Yep. I'm going to charge up into these guys. Uh, you, you've been on the same team with Velker way too long. Or not enough. Never enough. All right. That's three. Anybody else over here? Because they're all the same core. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll hand it back to Velker for the moment. Three over to Velker. I don't think you can't see him. Nope. Even if you could, you'd be on top of him. You can, you can just shoot to your right and get him next time if that's what you're looking to do. If he doesn't move, of course. Not a bad idea. Well, so. he could have he could have angled up into here to get closer too. So yeah, that's not that's back. not the geometry doesn't work for you. Again, geometry. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Man. Okay, <laughs> gotcha. I I forgot you got to move straight. Not. Are harder to do. No, you don't have to move straight, but here. <laughs> If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I yeah, guess. no, it's it's uh, uh, you can see because by the time you get here, it's you're you're on top of you're still on top of you're on top of your triangle yourself. is the longest part yeah. of any of the straight yep, lines. That's fine. I forgot he's only got three inch move. Not, not you're six. a hypotenuse. Uh, <laughs> three. I'm a hippopotamus. You're right. a hippopotamus. If if one of you people brings up trigonometry or calculus, I'm out of here. I'm leaving. Yeah. <laughs> three, three, four, five, Velker. Six. Six. Seven. Eight. 
Those are going to be separates. Yeah. 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 He wasn't near to where near. It, it's at the start of the turn anyway. Yeah. Eight. Nine. Nine. Can he keep going? They may continue. OJ. All right. My uh, three units over here. The 12th Reserve is going to move into uh, Casa now. there yet okay they're close of course you yep and just get the artillery on up this way and the infantry yeah, I think moving the, on through tens. going to has this point that if it's, if you stay in line with that village they're fine right and that's pretty much what we'll end up doing you know we'll get them lined up here pretty close and this way in. yep that is 12 over to 12 Volker. to Valker. Can't charge because you're going to hit the town. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, you may. Sure. You have to. That's not a forty-five degree angle. It doesn't matter. It's, there's there's several things wrong with that. Yeah, first of which, yeah. he's going to hit his own guy. <laughs> there are several things wrong with that. <laughs> among the list of things that would among that went our wrong. weapons, <laughs> among the errors, our chief weapons are. Right. Oh god, Cossacks! Cossacks! Oh god. That is 16, I think. Uh, that's accurate. How about They're now? done. 16 and done. Guns. Okay. Uh, do the do the allies have any guns they wish to unleash? Uh, yep, I have my horse artillery still. Plink, plink. At that boy right there, those cuirassiers. Yep. Yes. What do they got left? Eh, still. I think two. they're at two. Two with a bonus. Yep. I'm waiting to see my die roller catches up here. Yep, there it goes. No hits. All right. Any other guns? No guns. No guns. No guns. All right, melees. A uh, boatload of them. Which who, who goes first? Um, we'll just go from right to left here. We'll just start with this cavalry fight first. Uh, oh, I'm, yeah, this one. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. You had a bunch I'm... of cavalry. It's two. So six. Six to five. French have five. Oh, oh my god. Oh <laughs> there we go. Three hits. Four. Four? Four hits. Oh, yeah, four. Thank you. That's so, even better. Nuked him. And facing the wrong way. Um, the, uh, that, 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 that was rough. Uh, and yeah. you, you, you can pursue to a base depth, but obviously you can't touch that dude. No, I'm going to stay, stay right, right where I are. Over here, the Lithuanian and West Prussian Dragoons. Six to five <laughs> again. No, he's at four. He's got shot up. Yeah. Oh, he did. Four. four to five. It's a little better. That's three. Yes. Oh, sorry. It's two. Uh, two, two hits. Two. Oh, that's a tie for the defender, though. So I'll take tie it. goes to the runner. Back, Mike, you go back six facing the right way. Volker, can you grab him? Move him back six inches for me, please. Thank you, sir. Shoot. And that's all the melees we had on this side of the field. Well, how, Velker, do you have any dumb oh, questions? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> Where do you want to start? That one there? La, 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 five. Five to four. Yes. Okay, so I'm four, hey, right? Mm -hmm. Jim, my Brandenburg Oolong, you did not decrement them anything. For that. Hey, you got him. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Hang on a second. Thank you. Spoken like mm -hmm. gentlemen. Where are we? Right here. Is that first one. Got it. Thank you. Wait, my lights should be done. 
My light seven flight here should only be down to four. They won't, they won that one. Where are we? Right here. Yeah, should my Lithuanians have dropped two also, or should they have only dropped Yes, one? when you lose, you, you take two. Even on the tie. Okay. Yep. And I'm fine with that. I just wanted to make when sure. When you lose, you take two. Yep. No problem. Six, five, four. To six. Four to six. Three. Three, yeah. There four. Was, four. Man. There was some semblance of a chance. There was. <laughs> there Sounds was. Sad. Right, got them both. Man, snatched man. away. <laughs> yeah, that, that stream is killing you, no doubt. That's why we're defending it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, sure, dude. <laughs> What else are you going to do? Uh, six, five. Five to five. Nothing. Oh. Oh, ouch. That's enough. Yeah. Anything's enough, man. <laughs> Anything but zero. Uh, actually, a zero. That's a tie. Actually, zero's a win, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Yeah. These guys are. Four. Do you imagine the mud <laughs> and the people like three to six? You charge a cow, you charge your artillery bag. Two, three, four. Ooh. Thought you had a better chance on that one. Okay, down to two. But yeah, even even for the winner. You know, even for the winner, it's it's just this grinding, nasty awfulness. Yeah, if they have the numbers, they can just grind you down. You know, and the, well, and the interesting thing is that these Russians are in a role they're not familiar with because every last one of them is steady, which only <laughs> benefits you on the defense. Mm -hmm. Every last one of them would be rolling one extra die on the defensive. Uh, okay. That is all of it. That's all of it. Yep. It's now we do go to turn twenty-one, and I think this time we are to who, who is going to roll for our weather. It I is. Am. It's up to the uh, allies. All right, OJ. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> what did you do? It's his lag. <laughs> it's just my lag. I thought I grabbed the little turn marker is what I thought I had grabbed. You still got it. Yeah, I can see it. I know. I'm yep. putting it there. There you go. <laughs> I saw. Three. That shrinks it. That shrinks it to, uh, I believe that's heavy rain. It is heavy rain. No. French vis visibility is three inches. Still. <laughs> Prussian is six. Three and six. That's nasty. No, the heavy rain is back. He just brought it back. I thought the heavy rain was, you have to back off. No, that's storm. That That's thunderstorms. That's storm. Yeah, three Sheets of blinding rain. Yep, yeah, three and six. So ain't nobody sees nobody right now, unless you're real close. Um. Well, I suppose we can ask the uh, French to, dis to see if uh, the boys of three corps are showing up. My turn again. Yes. Finally, yes. Yeah, yes. I'll be here at the end. Uh, and uh, did did the allies roll mo dice for the French? No, they did. All right. We have mo dice. Okay, I am first going to activate these two are these two uh, cavalry brigades. I don't think you can see him, but. Three inches? No. <laughs> I heard there was a gun out here. But we came up here to look threatening. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, wait. Let me redo that. I heard there was a gun out here.
go this way and jam these guys up. That's uh, two, over two Achilles. All right. Let's see. These guys are hardly able to get back. Yeah, I, I'm only going to have one move, and it would be uh, an individual. So you go ahead and use it. You can do your individual now if you want to. I mean, do you want to? Okay. If that's all you really want to do, then you might as well take yeah. it. Yeah. Um, to go backwards, do I need to... Uh... It's a complicated move. Yeah. Six inches. And can he do it from the oblique like this? Nope. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 actually you can. You can go nuts. Yeah, because it's complicated. Okay. Do what you want. You can only see six inches, so you can't... You probably won't be able to charge you until he finds you get outside of six inches. Well, that one right in front of me can. If you get outside of that, you can't see it. Yeah, that's the idea. There's too much rain. <laughs> and pivot like, yourself just in case. Do, I'm sorry? I'm just not sure that... Yeah, because that's... Uh, no, it's not. Very good. Okay. That's it. Yep, that's what I said. Four. That's four. Keep going. I'm uh, going to activate these two brigades down here. Uh, that is six. Keep going. And uh, I'm going to go to individual activations. Mm That's another eight uh, ten. Uh, take this one back. You're done. Okay. Then I will bring these guys on. So what's my... How wide can I go here? Well, certainly stay above this. I mean, yes, but... I mean, other than that... You know, you, you, you know the rules. It's, it's not really that specific. Anywhere between those two roads, I'd basically. Say. That seems, that seems yeah. fair. It's an interesting piece of not specificity from our guy. <laughs> Mike, you see, has his note in the chat. Uh, let me look. Okay, that's all she wrote. Cool. Guns? Oh, that's right. I forgot to do guns. You got a gun there. Yeah. Uh, I have to... Oh, we have a melee, too. What am I doing? Mm, I don't know. What am I thinking about? Ugh, all over the place tonight. <laughs> uh, so, it should be those guys, or it be these guys? Well, right it's, now, canister, not... it's canister range, so it's got to be closest. Okay, so these guys... The two is Brandenburg Ulans. Took it. Where's that melee? Um, oh, here. Horsey versus guns. Uh, gun four. says four. Artillery yep. says three. Four to three. Ooh. Nice. I think two is the... That's double, yep. I will not take the space for now. Well, we just even things out on losses. Yeah, but the thing is, your morale has now jumped up because you're at that point. 
I believe you're now at 14, which drops you to 13. They have a lot of morale. They've got a lot of Russians. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they have too many Russians. Too many Russians. Um, a common tale. Yes. I was just going to say, how many times have we heard that? Is there a... Uh... <laughs> well, this was the thing. I mean, you just wonder if enough Russians had gotten there for Austerlitz, right? Because <laughs> there were still more of them. This is the other thing about everybody who's all geeked up about, oh, if Napoleon had won at Waterloo. Yeah, there were all these Russians. The Russian and Austrian armies might have something to say about that. Yeah, yeah no, that's another unfair. quarter million dudes. Um, <laughs> and, well, he was gambling on being able to intimidate them into a political settlement. I, I, I don't he, think that would have worked. I, I, I don't think they were of any mind. <laughs> oh, I yeah. Just, they're like, they're like we already gave you a cushy exile. This is how you pay us back. You know, we're, you made us do this again. Um, all right, that's it. So we go to the next turn, which should be turn 22. Right? Yes, correct. Turn 22, 2 2. So few turns left. So few turns left. Mo oh, dice. Yeah. And everybody's uh, reinforcements are on, so. That's it. But now the Russians have an interesting The Russian Prussian Alliance has a situation because they got a boatload of guys, but how are they going to move them? Let's see. Mm -hmm. OJ. Okay. They have Mo dice. All right. I'm going to activate over here with uh, First Core. Mm -hmm. These two are going to advance up into the village, and the rest of the infantry is going to advance into these two cavalry units. One, two. So you're getting these guys to unprepare? Yep. And they're going to march right up into those cavalry. That guy, I don't think, can hit him. Well, the best chance, and I tend to agree with you. Yeah, it's not going to work. Nope. nope. Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't think they could both hit, but they were at least going to advance up with them. Just like that? Uh, yeah. What is the world coming to? It, <laughs> yep. Dogs and, and cats and, living together. And same with these guys advancing forward. Oh, yeah. Those may both get on item. Yeah, I don't think so. Those... I don't think so, because he's going to rotate. Yeah. Nope. Nope. But they will advance up with Oh, wait. Them. Are these just conscripts? They can't charge. Oh, yeah, they can't, can they? When they're engaged oh, by cavalry. Oh, right. yep, yep, yep. This guy I can't. He's not, in, he's not engaged by cavalry. This guy can't, and these two can't. But he could probably do it, because he's not in the engagement zone, technically. Let me double-check the rule. Uh, he, he can't get there. Yeah, you need you need Velker's boys over here to do that business. Yeah, these guys are both in the engagement zone, so they cannot charge. Okay. That guy is not in the engagement zone, so he He's can technically not. do it. So this he's guy the, is. Uh, he's okay. the only way he can do it. Yep. He can can he it. see them? Yeah. Yeah, they're within six. Yeah, he can uh, I didn't mean distance. I meant uh, yeah, is that six, correct? Yeah, six inches. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean distance. I, I just was thinking that Karasia unit was in that uh, valley down there. No, no. Yeah. He's actually on a hill. Yeah, I'm on top of no. the hill right here. <laughs> Man, I can't remember which of these are hills and which of these are depressions. The lighter colors. <laughs> lighter, the lighter the colors are hills. The higher okay. the car, the higher it is. It's like a contour map. It's well, except the exact opposite. Yep. <laughs> yep. My my topo friends tell me this. He can't actually make contact. Well, these guys can't do it though because they're conscripts, also, right? No. It, yes, so they, they can because they were not in the. They, n neither of these guys were in the zone. It's, it's okay. okay. This guy, yeah, this guy can because he can not in the engagement zone. These guys can't actually make contact though. Why can't they? Because they they're weren't inside it. Yes, they are. The, this is. In they are in it's the six zone. inches or three. They can't see six inches. That makes no sense. It, well, it's heavy it's... rain, so what's their what's their? These guys can only see three inches, and they can see six. What is six. it? Six. We can say six. Hmm. Okay. I guess so. Here's my here's my thing though. 
So okay. I, I totally forgot about the. So if they can't engage this guy, there's no reason for them to advance. No, they can't. Yeah, they can't actually. It does, it's only a one base width. Yeah. Okay. So they're not, they're not within three. They can do it. It's not a good idea, but they can do it. Well, they're going to take a pounding, but right now I agree with it because they got nothing else to do. Yeah, right. but only one of them can make contact, though, right? Right, right. So yeah, that's a good which one, one is it going to be? Let's do this one. Yeah, that one. Okay. Yep. Another example of Prussian recon by death. <laughs> You're not far wrong. Uh, all right, so we gotta keep a good, good one, count two, here. three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was a total of eight. All right, yep, over. Oh, two don't forget Volker. these. Don't forget these two guys who went. I, I, I counted them. Okay, eight. So it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, got it. All eight right. to you, this guy, this, this guy counted as the link between these two and and these five. Got it. I'm not sure you try it. You should be able to. You went back I think, six. I, I think you can, actually. Yeah. You went back six, exactly. So you should be able yeah. to make contact again if he wants to. Yep. And it yeah. does. And that's always what we followed, right? Is yeah, it said if you bounce, if you bounce by definition, six, six. You're, yeah. you're six by def. So that's eight, nine, ten. Keep going, Velker. Eleven. Yeah. You want to hit him? No. Okay. <laughs> He's like, I thought better of it. <laughs> That's twelve. He's only. He, can he advance the enemy? He's only. Oh, no, he just two. He's not shaking. Well, if he's yet. not charging, he can only go three. So you got to go back uh, two point three. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. It's twelve. Thir sorry, 13. The Russian human waves continue. Yeah. No kidding. How about these guys? <clears throat> Let's see where they are for now. Uh, they're, are they still? Mm -hmm. They're out. You'd have to move they're them. Out. Otherwise, they'll be out of core move. Yeah. But I doubt that I'll win. <laughs> uh, all right. He's, I'm he's... planning for a treat. <laughs> that's, 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 all right. That's that's long term thought. Thirteen. Can they keep going? Uh, they may. Oh, okay. all right. I'm gonna take my cavalry reserve back here, mm -hmm. and we're going to march them up this way as close as we can to the. Yep. Third core. Do you want to give me 12 inches off them, Carl? Is it 12 or their line of sight's only three for right now? Still going to say 12. Oh, that's a good question, though. I, I, and I'm just asking the question. I'm not arguing I mean, it, the point. I, I'm just asking from from a realistic point. Of, I mean, yeah. I'm good with either way, Jim. We'll, I'm just, we'll go with, we'll go just with, we'll go with 12 inches on it because it's such a big deal in terms of that move. Okay. So that's that's twelve inches over there. All right. So that's five more back to Velker then. That was that was thirteen, eighteen, eighteen to Velker. They're done. No, no. Uh, Velker, Velker. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Yeah. Well, Velker, you know this is it. So. What are you talking about? I yeah. Know, it was odds were that it probably was. Yeah. Sure. Game. You're well. You're rolling three dice. So I'm for odds. I thought it was four dice. Four. Oh, that's right, that's, four. that's right. You guys get four. Keep thinking you're French. So they could have technically they could, yeah. 24. Okay. <laughs> uh, debating on what to do. Guess it can go Not going to quite nope. get him. Yeah, you can get just, up there, you just can't. He, just, he, he deliberately got out of your range. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you, you, you can get up to him, but you can't. He deliberately got outside your range. That's why he moved the way he did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, you can, so if you, you can, can still you, hit you, me, you then get, something went wrong. You can get right outside <laughs> him there, though. And that's legitimate. Just not a hit. Oh, wow. They're coming for you. Oh, yeah. There's Six. thousands. 
thousands of Vasily Vasily Zaitsev clones yes. headed toward me. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's exactly what's happening. They're also inside six, so you can't quite hit them either. Yes, oh, so, that's right. So he had no head. All has said is reserve his line of sight. All right, so that's four more. Not helpful, Has. What do you think? Nah, just ignore him. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. So yeah, we we know we're done here. Um, gunshots. That cannon's toast. Yeah. This this. One oh yeah, that one's got a shot. Range. Sure. Yeah, they've got range there. Three dice, I think. Yep, three with a bonus. No hits. Boy, me like. It's a good thing Luker doesn't have bouncing. It's too wet for that anyway. Right. It wouldn't count in That's this true. instance in any event. All right. There's all sorts of charging of cavalry going on. I know that. So Do that would hear? hit. The Salatian well, the, the, land bear. The, well, I thought we said this one was not a... Oh, this one was a was a hit yeah. because they were outside the, the right, base. Right, the three range. inches, yeah. 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 What does Mixed Brigade do? Uh, plus one uh, in that's combat. What I thought. Yeah. So it's six to... Six to four, six re-rolls all hits. Ally six, right? Yes. Yep. That's what I thought. I just wanted to double check. Oh, one oh hit. my gosh, Chrono. Two hits. Two, Two hits. hits. I know, it. my dice are turning. All you need is one. <laughs> All you need is one, OJ. <clears throat> but you gotta reroll two. I've only... Oh yeah, I got two hits, didn't I? Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for my dice counter to show that I've actually got two selected. <laughs> Good lord, you're here at tonight. I, I don't know what's up with this. Does it say two, Chrono? It says two now, yeah. Yeah. No, it says uh, one. And I'd hit the plus sign, so it's probably going to go back to two here in a second. Or 12 or something. <laughs> <laughs> here, I'll set Maybe. it for you, Mike. Thank you, sir. Okay, now hit it. Yeah, I just went. There it goes. Oh, one. I take one enough. and go back then. That is enough. Brave horsies. <laughs> Run away from the land there. You, you can, you can uh, advance three inches if you want. Mike. Yes, please. Move them on up. Wait a minute. You ran away from who? <laughs> <laughs> Prussians. Yeah, that's what they're Prussians, telling everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Silesians, to be they're, more they're, specific. To be technical, they were Silesians. What? That's a scant five. Five to six, <laughs> five rerolls all hits. Ugh, gonna have to strip the eagles off their uniforms. I'm sorry, Jim, do I have the five or the six? You have five. five. Yep, that's what I thought. Two hits. I clicked it, I promise it's just... I have no idea why I keep maxing out on my pings tonight. Must be the weather. Yeah, I mean, Maybe. Your, your pings are just awful. Man. Well, you're in oh, Ohio. Will, <laughs> I will Two, Two hits. hits. Doesn't matter. You can't do any better than tie. That was seven dice, too. So. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. So. Five. Three. Late line bear goes back six inches. Oh. And now we got this fight in town. Did not get better. Uh, it's nope. going to be seven to six. Yeah, it's seven to six, I think. Seven to five. Oh, mixed He's brigade. Got, yep. We got mixed brigade. Seven to six. I clicked it all. It's just taking a second for it to. Ooh. Well, that's wow. a little better. Wow. <laughs> All right, Mike, I'll just do your dice for Yeah, from yeah go ahead. I'm sorry. You're on a six. There it goes. God almighty. I clicked it. Just give it a second. Look, look or if it doesn't roll there and it 
<laughs> Velker just hit it for me. Going? <laughs> hey, Velker, hit the dice roll. Yeah, Vel Velker, roll his dice for me. Ro 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 roll it for me, please. Thank you. What are we drinking? We haven't talked about that in ages. <laughs> Two, yeah, we knew that. We knew which way that was going. Yeah. Uh... There, hold it on to Weinberg. For dear see. life. All right. That Brandenburg infantry unit got hurt. Should be down just to whittling them down a little bit at a time. Should be down to four now, right? Uh uh. They came in. They came in at six. It's the unit behind them that went in first. And they I... lost. They lost four. Oh, they lost two. Though. That's right. They lose two. That's that's my problem. Yep. When you lose, question. you lose two. Yeah. Belker, over here. In some ways, it's better to lose by one on defending than it is to lose by lose it all by attacking. Well, I except when you don't have the choice but to attack. True. Six to six. Ouch. Ouch. One. Ah. <laughs> one to one. one. Win by one. Wait, no. Wait. Mm. No, I don't. It's wait. one to one? Yeah, it's one to Wait, no, it's two to one. No, no, no. It's two to Over one. Over one, yeah. two to one. Yeah, two to one. Yeah, Velker hit two. Yeah, two to one. So. Wait, OJ, how did you? That that was OJ's click finally coming through. Oh yeah. my god! Good lord! <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness! And okay, so it's six inches back, back facing six for the wrong me. way. I didn't think I'd win. No way! And Don't have the river there. See you later, sucker. Oh no, he doesn't. <laughs> Unless he moves back up to it. He could. I suggest he do. I would suggest he does. Three inches, fucker. And Velker takes the river from him. Or at least... He's not, he's not across it yet. Early. Yeah, but yeah. If he, now it would be even Stevens if he wants to try to defend it. No, it wouldn't. If he moves up right well, here. Only if I move right up Oh, I see what you're it. saying. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, just the uh, same thing I did with these guys. Yeah. So they're... Uh, so three? <clears throat> oh, dear. Three uh, to three. Three to three. Yeah. Uh -huh. Three to three. Uh -huh. I planned that out. Uh, one. Oh no. Oh. Got one, that's enough. No. That fatigues him. Oh. First brigade of the 16th, 5th Corps, heck yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Six back, facing the right way. That's, that's good old Penne, you can rely on him. Fortunately, these are going to go a little Mr. worse. Mr. Pasta. Mr. Pasta to you. Oh, he's, oh, he's loose. <laughs> five to... Five to five. I hate that river. I really don't like it. It's even a stream. Yeah. So, two. I, do we have that remove? Got him. Oh. Uh, even if you're rolling, even if you're rolling uh, <laughs> six dice, you might have probably would have beat you. That roll. S six back. Yeah, you have to keep going. Left wing is getting punched in the mouth here. Oh, yeah. But my infantry's holding up pretty well. Three. Three to four. I'm on four? Yep. Okay. That's two. Got, um... Two. Six back. Playing for the one thing the Russians don't have. Time. They didn't make contact here, did they? Yeah, did. they did. Oh, they did. He, yeah. he did good. commit them. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. One. One to five. Uh, it should only be two. Live, He's done rough terrain. He's undersized. That oh, that's right. I got him. <laughs> he got you. <laughs> and that's a kill. There you go. That's what we like to see. Takes the, uh, and nobody else made contact. Takes the, uh, allied morale to 12. A mere 12 compared to our mere 7. Yeah, I was going to say. It's our, like, our well, superior that's the thing. His, his, his spoiling attacks, you know, when you got the bodies, you're willing to throw at it. I guess. Uh, it is the Russian way. Is that it? Is that all? Is that it? 
It is. Turn 23. Ho, ho, ho. So we're waiting for 24 for the next weather check. Yep. All right. Uh, more dice for the French, here. please. Wilco, you're probably going to have to roll it. Yeah, Oops. I think I think I think you're pretty much on dice for the rest of the evening. Yeah, I hit it, but it's just not going to go. Oh, it's going to go in about a minute. Yeah. So you have to remember that number. Yeah. Yep, and I got it. Goes. it. Yep. Right. Yeah. I know what it was. It's it's the same number. Is it? Yeah. Is it? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Wait, no, it's not. It's no. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so Let's remember the correct number. I know you will remember the correct number. I will. Yep. Chrono. We got it. Uh, I'm activating these two cavalry brigades. Yes. Not touching uh, you. To re have to regain their honor. <laughs> Don't you have to have it to regain it first? Oh. Oh, ow. Oh. I, I it's a certain bitterness. That's that's two coming, uh, coming from Ohio. Two Achilles, you got any? <laughs> we we won our uh, whole game. We're fine. <laughs> hey, I, I'm with you on that. I spent the first five years of my life on that campus. <sighs> That's going to be individual activation. Yeah. Well, uh, pretty much that's the only thing I'm going to be doing anyway. Fair enough. Yeah, I need to move these guys up there. We got three inches, but I think you'll make it. Yeah, they should. Right up to the edge. That's fine. I mean, that'll force them. Okay. Yeah. And... Four. That's it. Can they keep going? I would they hope. Uh, you're going to... You only get three dice. Right. <laughs> French? Go, Colonel. Uh... I will activate uh, the third core. All of it. All right. Well, if you're doing that, you got to move less than that. Oh, that's right. Burp, burp, burp. Cur like, where are you getting all this extra move from? I understand they decided to take a few turns off, but... I think it was 3.7, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that was fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's one, two, three, four, five. That's nine over to Achilles. Achilles. Okay. Now, any suggestions here, Chrono? With the uh, the sixth light cavalry, we still have line of sight until well, potentially on Tonks' turn. But keep going, <laughs> keep running, keep running. Yeah. If I keep running, though, he's going to... Or sidestep. You could sidestep up this way, because then he doesn't have a 45-degree arc to hit you. I hate to give him this this flank, because all these guys are going to come in from both sides of me then. See what I'm saying? Yeah, it might be worth preparing this guy then, writing this guy off. <clears throat> well, yeah, I may just keep that cavalry there, and then bring up your uh, 10th light. Yeah, it's, it's only 5 to 4, so, I mean, you can't eat with yeah. 2, so it's not terrible odds. So, if anything, I'd prepare, the, I'd prepare this guy, because he might be able to hit him. Which one? Ah. Uh. This is a 45. I'm not sure, though, because he might... I don't, I, I'm probably sure. going to hit... He'll probably hit the 2nd Brigade over here if he does. Yeah. So, I, don't think he can, I don't think he can squeeze through there. Yeah, probably not, but you never know. Either way, it's but it's either move that guy or get this guy prepared, one of the two. Okay. Let's uh let's go ahead and prepare the uh ninth of the fifteenth uh ninth of the fifth first brigade. Alright. <clears throat> and you all are done. Oh that sucks. <laughs> Gunfire? Vil Vil Vilker rolled a seven and I rolled a six and I gave you the seven. Yeah. Not that it was going to make much difference, I figured, Not but still. it helped much, that's right. Uh, oh, wait, I can only see three inches. I can't shoot him. Yeah. Nope. No shooty. Can't see a thing. All right. We're and, blind. And you did no melees, right? No melees. We could not see anything to charge. Here we go. Turn 24. Oh, we need to roll for... Yes, uh, you do, sirrah. 
Bon, two. No, I know what Heavy you wanted. Years. I know what you A wanted. One. <laughs> <laughs> one would have been perfect. He was doing his rain dance over there. <laughs> I don't know what Chrono's rain dance looks like, but he was doing it. Uh, Heavy rain continues though, so it's still only three six. Yeah, it's the three six, so it's it's snug muffins. Um. Uh, Mo dice are rolled. Mo dice are rolled. OJ. Okay, be right back. Ooh, they are in range, aren't they? Or did I mismeasure that? Wait, mismeasured. Nope, just outside. Now, if this same, if the fifth Silesian advances against this cavalry, mm -hmm. cavalry gets a penalty for being in the woods, right? You can't charge their conscripts, and they're engaged by cavalry. Oh, that's right. They're in that engagement zone. They're in, they're engaged by these guys. Engaged by those guys. So they're engaged by several units of cavalry, in fact. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're they're stuck. These guys are not, but those guys are. Right, and these guys are stuck. These guys are not. These guys aren't. They're not conscripts, but these guys are. Right. These guys can't turn enough to hit these guys on the side, can they? No, they're going to run. They're going to end up on top of the land where. Right. If those land where shoot to their left, you could do it. Yeah, let's do that. Let's move the land bear to the left and bring up the Force Silesian. Let's remember they moved. That's one. Yep, one. Two. If these grenadiers can get to these guys, we'll do it, but I don't think they can. No, no, there's not a gap there. Now, let me ask you this. Oh, no, they can't. They don't have visibility. But we could switch these two around, can't we? Oh, that's going to be razor close. Pretty sure. Yeah, but I wasn't if, if, sure. If you get this guy out of the way, mm -hmm. this guy can go there. All right. Yeah. And that's what I was going to try to do anyways, is get this guy out of the way. He's done what I need him to do. So we spin him and move him six? Yes, please. I'm not, let me check something. Oh, I can't get out of there. So he'd have Well, to... you could. Well, you, you can because this guy will be out of the way. Right. The end of the yes. Phase. Right. That you can do. I'd read that earlier. That's yep. why I Yeah, that's that. right. That... That, that's, that's why Sam says you can leave the cards sitting on each it... other. And the, and the measurement for this is done at the center point right. of the card, not off to the edges. It's like right there. So That's like the front of his base should be right about there, I think. And we'll take the uh, combined grenadiers, Jim. Uh -huh. Let's move them up this way as far as we can. Mm -hmm. Put them in front of those conscripts. I know they won't be able to melee with them, but mm -hmm. is that the is that as far as they could go? Is that five inches, or could they go up a full six? They, they, they can go the full six. They got point nine. Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. Take them all the way that they can. That's it. Yep. All right, so that was one, one two, three, two, four, five. I think I got that two, count right. Three, four, five. Accurate. Okay, over to uh, Velker. Velker. Velker with five. That's fine. Oh, you're uh, going to clip that corner there? Scooch to your left a little. You can't. The cavalry's... A little more. There. Stop. Uh, he's, he's he's overlapping around there. Uh, 
just not enough. It's wait, wait. Hang on. Yeah. Hang on. Let it go. He's he's hitting on both both corners, both sides. Nope. He's in there. Okay. <laughs> Scraping the paint off, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if there were, if, if the bases were colored. Yeah, right. Those that nasty <laughs> color would come right off. Gray is a color. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's the black true. and white are not. That's true. So, uh, you're yeah. going, you're off the edge of the board there, I think. You know, I'm, I'm just, oh, I don't yeah, I don't think you've got that gap. You don't got. Well, I don't have that gap. I just. I just yeah, just get up as far as you can. That's fine. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Nine. Nine. How about? Can they keep going? Uh, nine total. He said. Yep. Keep going. OJ. All right. We'll prepare the 14th Silesian and the uh, 12th so Reserve. I mean, they moved that far out. <laughs> okay. And that's three more. So that's 12 over to Velker. 12 to Velker. Spell. And, you know, just reminding, you've got these guys here, too. I don't know what to yeah. do with them exactly, yeah, but... Yeah, that's, that's the thing. There's not really, not really any room for it, unfortunately. Yeah, no, it's... Yeah. These guys. Those guys back there? Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thought I had more room than that. Shit. <laughs> Thought I'd get further with my stickering. Your optimism is admirable. That's two more. <laughs> you bringing the if guns misplaced. or no? misplaced. All right, 15. This place, but admirable. 15, hey, 15, how about now? 15, I think. I they're think done. they're done. They are done. All right. Yep. Artillery hey. fire, any? Yes. One here. Right. Two for with a bonus. Hit the dice roller, Jim. Oh, Velker. Every time I go to, uh, every time like, I go yeah, to like, do anything, oh, it's okay. it, two. Two with a bonus, Velker. No hits. Uh, what else we got? I thought we had for uh, Get a bunch artillery. of in here. Uh, do, but do we have any more guns? No. No. In that case, where do you want to start on the melees? More melees. There's two, oh. There's two of them. There's yep. at least we'll two, just... aren't there? Because Velker had one. Yeah, we'll start here. All right. Push out. Leip Grenadiers. Seven. Eight to three. Eight to three. Eight re-rolls all hits. Two. Oh, Jay. Three. Oh. Two to three. How do you lose that? Anyway, it didn't matter. That's, that's my fault. Oh, is that you? Yeah, I rolled it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, OJ. OJ, oh, you, oh, OJ, was in, OJ was innocent of this crime. I'm telling that's you. Right. Yeah. OJ is innocent of, I, I, OJ's okay. innocent of these dice crimes. <laughs> I, always say, I always say I I only beat the odds. Not that He's... it'll be in a good way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OJ's in the enviable position of being able to blame others. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> All right, Valker, this is six. Six to five. Six rerolls all dice. Why are you attacking the cavalry, OJ? Why? Three. Three. Enough. Four. Losing You're five. lucky I'm not attacking you right now. <laughs> all five. He got all five. He did. I can hardly be blamed for that one. Hardly. <laughs> he, he's, he, truthfully, one of the unsaid things here is Chrono has made some sick combat rolls tonight. And Achilles. Thank you. I can't get uh, there was a time I went up here and got punched in the face, but um, yeah, I've seen some pretty poor rolls from Chrono tonight too. <laughs> My luck's been pretty swingy. I've been all over the bell curve. Uh, okay, that's done. <clears throat> all right, Velker. Now the problems you started. Uh, Indeed. Or did you? One. That one right there. That's the one. That's the one problem. Yes. Five. It definitely is a problem. Five to four. One. Three. Three. Got him. Not dead yet. He's got hanging uh, on by yeah, fingernails. 
Show me how he gets out of here this way. Remember, he's, he's right? got to go. No, but he's got to go through his rear quarter. Six inches. Okay. Yeah, and stay, the and stay on the board. Oh, yeah, he's got to be off the table. He can't go like this. Nope, nope, nope. You're not in your rear quarter. You see that line I'm drawing? Yeah. You got to stay completely uh, inside. Is this part like this? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Uh huh. Okay. Get and your dead. front left corner. You're dead right there. Ah, how unfortunate. Yo. Let's go. Down to he six. Died, he died by falling off the edge of the earth. Driven away, and you may advance, Velker, <laughs> if you wish. And, uh, and I run off with. <laughs> and he no. That's that's what every French command. Every actually every cap, commander of horse is afraid of. Yeah. That you're gonna go off with him. All right, that's it. Am I right? We're good. He, uh, I think so. Does he get? Um, does he get a demerit? There? Oh, he does. Thank you. No, I don't get it. At least we didn't die for nothing. <laughs> and did they lose? You got their morale. They did. They took it. Yep. They're down to yep. six. I thought you did. I yeah. Just didn't. Chrono was on it. That takes him down to six. Uh, all right. Takes us also to turn twenty-five. Only four turns to go. Four turns to go on turn twenty-five. Uh, dice for the uh, for the French. Chrono. Okay, let's see. First things first. I'm activating these two. I don't think it's going to work. Oh, well, unless I could. No. Mm -mm. You got to be wide to get that to happen. Yeah. If your, your infantry, their unit should be enough to you take out that you, artillery. You say then. that. Oh, now you just made the odds against Velker. Uh, That's where the bad things happen. The jinx. That's four. I'll hand it over to Achilles. Achilles at four. All right. Booker, did you see my note in the chat? Team chat. Achilles, no. Achilles, we lost you. Did we lose you in chat? Uh, he's not saying anything. Uh oh. Hey, Jim, while we're waiting for him to come back, do we have control of this bridge, or do we need to get a unit actually on the bridge? First? You can. It's your bridge until they. It's wait, wait. Which bridge? That one. Yes. It's their bridge till you put somebody on it. Thank you. That one doesn't no, that, count. That anything. one just yeah. that was a tiny that's a tiny bridge. Anything? No. It's this no. one. Oh. You want the bridge over the big river. Uh, I wish I knew that. We told you. I didn't listen. Okay. So <laughs> fair enough. Spoken like a gentleman. gentleman. Uh, you know what? That's fair. Well, I listened just not well enough. Give me that strange timeout thing. You've been timed out. Yeah. We wait. You were you. not active. We wait for you on a four. Okay. All right. find my people again. Here we go. Oh my god, I've forgotten what I was doing. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, yes. I was asking about the uh, second brigade of the 5th Corps, Chrono. Right. Yeah. If He's he... not currently turned to face you. He can't? He okay. can't. He only has 45 degrees. He can only charge these two guys. And he can't uh, charge perfect. this guy because he can't see him because of the rain. Okay, good. 
I just wondered if I needed to prepare any of those. Then the only thing I really need to do over on this side is um, is move up to your uh, 10th Light Cavalry Brigade. I mean, anyone can activate those if you want to spend your two to do that. I would not have objection unless... Um, no, unless... it's, it's got to be by the troops you command. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Then you can pass and I can we'll okay. hopefully I'll get around pass. to it. Yeah, if you, if you get around to it, then there's no rush on that one, so... Okay, uh, I'm activating these four units up here. Okay. Never have so few infantry scared so many horse in the history of Napoleonic War. Well, these horse are pretty worn down. This is going into a gazette, you know that. Yeah, probably. Well... These are light cavalry. On the they're other hand, to... those fellows. <clears throat> they're light cavalry. They're supposed to fall back in front of infantry. So that's four. Uh, so it's eight total. total. Of eight over to you, over to Achilles. Um, I've got, yeah, I've got nothing. It's going to be all you, Chrono. All right, eight. To My go. guys are in solid position at this point. This light unit. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's going to have to be more over here if you're going seven. I mean, we're that... talking, you're going to clip this guy if you think you're charging. I'm not charging. I'm just trying to get out. Oh, no, I'm saying turn. next turn. He... I'm not trying to charge. I'm trying to plug a scap. Yeah. I just pulled him back an inch so I get my six inches. Oh, dig it. So that's uh, ten total. Can I keep going? Sounds like they're passing. Velker, OJ? Yes, they can keep going. Keep going? I'm sorry, where are they at? They're at... They're at ten. Ten, ten with individuals. Ten. Yeah. Yep, they can keep going. Uh, activate the XI core. <laughs> Actually, wait. No, I'll activate the, these guys down here. Uh-oh, he's sending help. Come up, here. and we'll just come up here and defend this river. Stop it with the rivers! <laughs> <laughs> Twelve. OJ? They can keep going. Um... Let's see. Hmm. You can't see me in the woods right now, so that's fine. Um. Let's activate the XI Core Light Cavalry here. Mm -hmm. Who, Chrono? XI, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the first time I went to rent Henry V. Yeah. And the, the guy kept saying, we don't have a Henry V, but we got this Henry V one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's 14? Mm-hmm. How about now? You're done. 14. Right. Okay. Guns. Uh, none. One. Melee. Melee. One. Uh, I have a four to a five. But they're re rolling. They are re rolling. Accurate. Their... Four to five. Yeah. Velker. Good. Oh yeah, we also have this one up here. So You're we, the five. We, we've got the five. We got the five. Velker. Four to five. Five re rolls. One hit. Four. And you got to reroll that one. Yeah. Got hit. it. So two. Three. Three. Yeah. Net three. three. Net three. Yeah. Yep. Net three. Okay. That, that fatigues him. Uh, I'm sorry, OJ. All right. And this guy has to. <laughs> All right. This, the uh, horse bounces. No, he doesn't. He won. It doesn't matter. He still bounces because oh, right. he didn't destroy him. 
Go back six or one? Six. Facing the right way. Now you don't see him. Can I go back this way? No. Rear, well, rear quarter. So put him up there if but you want to do something. Yeah, you're in the trees and you can't see anywhere, right? Yeah, that's true, too. Mm -hmm. I'd be out of the trees and get hit in the then be getting the flank and be in the trees. Where's the other melee? It was over here. Artillery. Over here. Infantry versus artillery. Ah, yes. Infantry charges the guns. That's a six to four? The six guns, to four. sir. Six to four. I've got this, Velk. Right. I've got this, Velker. Two hits. Uh, yep. They got bounced. Damn, Chrono. Off the map, <laughs> off the map. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He shouldn't be off the map. I got six, I had six inches coming on. He was yeah. behind, wasn't he? No. No, no he, he was, was in front. front. That's six inches right there, so I should have... Well, then how's he here, though? What are you talking about? Well, I mean, I don't know where well, he came right. from. I'm just telling you where he is. Right, but what I'm... I think what it is, though, Jim, is their front edge was at six inches. And you're looking at the back edge, which is another, what, two? Mm-hmm. So that had been five. Because the key is... Well, to hit, the, to hit that gun, he would have had to have been eight inches in. But all but I'm saying is, edge, I'll, right? you're going to have to... Which is what he is, but Actually, remember, eight, it's his back eight, edge, seven. like O.J. Sand. Right. Yeah. But he, he's barely barely on work. the table. Yeah. There he goes. Just barely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Foot takes the damage. Then I get driven back. Well, that was unfortunate. Yep. I have a, I have a question for you, Chrono. Just as a point of information, mm -hmm. with the, um, with these horse artillery, since you've got them massed up here anyway. Would they be of any benefit to helping to defend this bridge back here where the uh, tenth light is? It'll take them like two turns, two or three turns the to get down. Yeah, the, the, the game the will be over by the time they get there. Okay. Just and, wondered. And that is it. Speaking of turns, twenty-six. Hey, she's back safely. Hello. Twenty-six. When's our when's our last weather check, Chrono? Uh, next turn, I believe. Interesting. We checked on 24, and then, yeah, so 27. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a great time to roll a 1. That'd be no that kidding. time for that 1. <laughs> but right now, the uh, allies get 4 dice. Well, he's rolling, Jim. I'll go ahead and let you know what I want to do. For my All first right, go moves. ahead. The dice are rolled. The 15th mm -hmm. Silesian here. Yep. I want to move him toward the bridge. Well, they're only going to get yeah. three inches. Well, and if I have to, the eighth can move back out of the way. They can. They're going to have to. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just but, saying. But you, yeah, I mean, so it's you want me to move them like this way? Um, actually, well, they can't go toward the woods, can they? I mean, either way, it's, could, three, it's but... three inches. They can do that. Right, and then these guys can just kind of move straight ahead, or at least this turn. That's two. Yep. And then and a third unit here with the mm -hmm. second yep. is just going to come up as far as they can to. They can face this cavalry. That'd be great. If, basically, I want to use them to block the cavalry from hitting the seventh. Best we can. Yep, that'll work. That's three over uh, Velker. All right, three to Velker. Zoom. Zoom. <laughs> suddenly he doesn't. There they go. Suddenly he doesn't care about you that much. No. <laughs> Give it to Bridge. Four more. <laughs> At seven total. Yeah. Oh, keep, keep going. All right, Mike. 
I'm sorry, what was that, Jim? You got seven. It's your turn. All right. Um, can the first of the first here, can they pivot and hit these guys in the flank rear? Where yeah, they? it should be Probably able to. Probably doesn't matter. It should be able to. Well, give me a... Uh, yeah, what we do is these guys 45. here. One. Yes. Two. Three. Yep. All right. Bonk. Everyone's rerolling hits. <laughs> yep, lots of hits being rerolled. And somebody else. And these guys are just going to go straight, straight ahead. They don't have to bonk these guys. They just well, if they can, we'll bonk them. Might as well. And they can. Yep, we'll hit the bonk. That's uh, two more over to Velker. It's a total of what nine? Nine. Yes. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to keep track. No, of course. Nine. What's the point of fighting? <laughs> <laughs> What's the point anymore? What's he's, he's well, you you're you've you're making a broader point in that you've got I think you've got what one more after this. We've got two. Oh, no, this is your. You've got this, this one and the one. next one. Oh, that's right, twenty-eight. Yeah. Yeah. So you've so don't spend you know anything that's going to take more than this turn and the next, you know. Jeez is useless which unfortunately means this bridge move unless i'm really missing something is useless yeah it is i was and so is this bridge moved also because we can't get to oh uh, yeah we can get to that bridge yeah but, but it doesn't matter we need both bridges what if i uh, don't even make it no oh. yeah i think that's nope. yeah the only that's... thing that's going to matter here is if the french can... can stay on the plateau or if you can yep. shatter their morale. That's so the only thing. You have to shatter six bar units or drive me completely off the plateau at this point. Yep. Yeah. The bridges, and I don't see the, bridges aren't, the bridges ain't happening. The morale piece is out there if you can spot it, but I ain't going to point it out. Yeah. All right, I'll pass for a... do, do we still have any movement left? Uh, you have... You're, you're, Velker passed at nine. Can they keep going? Yes. Keep going. All right. Let's... Yeah, let's just take the cavalry, res uh, the cavalry right wing, and hit these guys. You can't only see six right now. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's true. I guess that's. Well, but that means you can do this. Cossacks right behind him. Yes, please. So that's 14. Anything for you, Velker? No. I'm just saying uh, that, like I say, the only thing that does you any good is killing them now. So if you think you can, go for it. If not, yeah. That's the thing. I don't think I can. Okay. If you can't, you can. Yeah. Because this guy can't move into melee. This guy can't. He's not. He can't swing properly. No, but he could cross the river. He could, go, he could attack into them. It's true. Uh oh. <laughs> that, Jim is that's like what a little... just talking about. You can't do that's a ninety it, degree turn. Yeah, plus it's your interpenetrating. Really trendy... Oh yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, but then you're well, giving him. You, now you're giving him your flank. But okay. but he also can't do that because he interpenetrates on the turn. No, he doesn't. He didn't interpenetrate there, did he? He did. I would have thought he would have clipped the corner. Well, in that case, I don't look like it. Move. He's gonna move okay. it. Okay. Didn't mean to do that. I just turn this way and back up. Yep, that works. But that is a two. That's a total of 16? Yep. They are done. All right. Guns? Anything? Yeah, I've got one. Oh, yeah, that guy that's still got... He's got a bad attitude about those guys. Three, uh, three, have two. Two of the bonus. Ouch. Look at that. Hit. Oh, man. Pow. Blam. Yeah. All right. So, Jim, when his when Velker's idea uh, was forming, does a little bubble appear above his head? It really does. It really does. <laughs> oh, I thought. <laughs> As one would expect. 
All right, there were some melees that OJ started, I saw. Yeah, one here. So this is six. Six to five, six re-rolls all dice. Uh, oh, okay, it is mixed brigade, yes. Oof, only one. Two. Two. Can you get them both? There's a chance. No. Nope. Tie. Got one. Tie. Oh, this one. Yeesh. Seven, Seven eight, eight. Eight to three. Both all re-roll roll all hits. <laughs> Amazing. One. Aww. Three. Three to one. Three. Oof. No. You got three. If you get them all, Mike. Oh, two. Two. Just two. Fatigue's in. He's got to go, yeah, through that quarter, exactly. That's a long stretch of land. All right, get him out of the line of fire. Yeah, yeah no some, in some ways, that's a huge favor. He can advance <laughs> if you want him to. Um, yes, please. Bounce him on up there a little. Any other melees? Is that it? I think so. Uh, I think yeah. Helker started any. <laughs> he wanted to. Yeah, I know. All <laughs> right, turn it. 27. Russians, can you end the game? Now we... Uh, it's their turn. It's one, the... 1d6 for weather. It's our turn. <laughs> uh, life. He does not. It's life. <sighs> uh. So what's the visibility on light? 12? I believe so... You know, you'd think by now I'd have it mesmerized, but I don't. Mesmerized. <laughs> Light rain is French six. Uh, yeah, French six, Prussians twelve. Wow. Okay. Uh, be a mode dice yet? No. One second, please. Ooh, and this is the last French turn. Yep. You have mo dice. Maybe one sec while I look something up. I'm sorry, what'd you say? He's looking something up. Oh, okay. What about conscripts, though? Has that's been the thing? Okay, I'm going to activate these guys down here, these four infantry, and prepare all of them. Oh, maybe not that guy. He's not in danger from cavalry. These two will stay unprepared, but these two will prepare. Okay, one, two. And I'll also have bring in this third cavalry brigade. So that's three. Achilles. Okay. Um, I'm going to uh, activate the uh, first brigade penne over here, 16th, 5th. Mm -hmm. Oops. Yep. Um, three, 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 three. I think you got me this guy to cover that flank. 
Yeah. Just make sure he can't charge the very close to dying unit. This feels like chess. Yes, exactly. There's a little chessy. Like, uh, oh, yes, I finally got you. There's no way you could escape. Oh, you just moved. Um, before I move him, let's see. What is his? He's at five. Five to five. Yeah. I could try. I could try hitting him. No, you'll you potentially you lose two, if you lose. Oh, that's right, because I'll be in the river. Yeah. It's better for you to to move up into the river. Well, yeah, and defend at a five to four, because even even if you lose, I mean that a five to four won't wipe you out. I'm okay. oh, sorry. He, I don't. I don't think he can. He could kill. Him. Yeah, he probably. Yeah, he could probably. I'm thinking, can he turn? Yeah, he can turn 45 and hit me, right? Yep. Yeah, but uh, okay. five to, f well, unless, well, he probably, he potentially does a, but no, even if. If yeah, he rolls he none and Velka rolls all of them, he kills him. Yeah, so yep. the potential is there. The odds are against it, but it could happen. I agree. Yep. So you're saying yeah. there's a chance. So there's saying, a chance. That's yeah. two, But it's three, still better five. than. Yeah, yeah, it's still better than leaving the other guy out there. Five. So it's five. Five, uh, can they keep going? They may. I kind of feel like we go for it again. Over here. Gets his artillery. <laughs> Take out those guns. Good. Could try it. They sh you should be able to do it on a good, on a halfway decent roll. You should be That's able what to. I thought last time, so. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> So says every commander that's ever lost a, a battle. <laughs> yes. We should okay, have been able to do it. Let's do it. We're after being two. That's what Lee told Pickett. You should have been able to do it. Sorry, I'm trying to adjust a little bit. I get it. Uh, I, that's out of gun range. Mm -hmm. It's six inches. So that's another two. Seven over to Achilles. Okay. Um, yeah, the only thing the only thing I would do at this point is uh, maybe try to rally a unit. So if you got more stuff you need to do, Chrono, go, go ahead. Uh, I might... I don't know anything I strictly need to do. That's also well, not rally. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on a second. Hang no, on. Mike, don't say anything. Okay. You might as well try and rally. Because I don't have anything else I strictly need to do at this point. That won't uh, get us there. So give it a shot. All right. Let me think here. Okay. I've got... He can't. He he can't. Nope. Those guys can't. Hey, he's not. He's not within. Yeah, why not? He was though. I thought he was. No, because oh, he that, got bounced. Yeah, oh, yeah, he did get bounced. This uh, guy, I think, can though. Uh, nope. Uh, no, no, maybe not. So just this guy can. Okay. So really, the only unit that I needed to do it to is the one unit that can't. So. Pretty much. <laughs> Story of our life. No kidding. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste the waste the mode. Then go ahead. All right. Well, then then go ahead, Mike. You're done. That's that's why it mattered. Yeah, right. boy, that sucked. Yep. So, because that rally was free. So, uh, there it is. Guns. Uh, no. Miles. Yep. One here, foot artillery. Four to two. Yep. Four to two, Mike. Two hits. Ugh, one hit. Gotcha. Again. This gun is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's down to almost nothing, but it's... Bl oh, yeah, we know you can leave this time. Yeah, it doesn't matter. This is the French last turn, and yeah, we yeah. can't pull out a victory, so but, I think we're pretty much done. But no, the, the, the point being, had he had he been killed, uh -huh. been, that, that actually would have been a small deal. I won't say a big deal. As I'm looking right. at the table, but any other melees? 
That's all yeah. I got. Last turn. Yeah. I don't know that there's anything that we can really do. I mean, how many would you have to get? Six. Six still. We didn't take out anything, and Vilker's only got one unit in, yeah. in range, and I can't all really right. melee anything reasonably. French win. French Ooh. win. The allies, the allies, <laughs> I. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my foot in both your butts. What's that doing? What's what doing? <laughs> I know, but... <laughs> I know. Big force up there. That's all right. I mean, he's... But what else were we going to do? All, yeah, there's uh, still all, I mean, all these he, guys right here honestly, that never he, even got into fight. And the fact so. that this, this bridge is still in their hands bugs me. Well, part of it was is I didn't ask the question soon enough, right? If I would have realized, we would have moved over there. I mean... There was nothing keeping us. The problem was, is we couldn't take both bridges. Well, we had this bridge. I mean, that. Guy yeah, I mean that bridge is for all intents and purposes yours. And the minute right. you, and the minute you grab it, you're playing in their backfield. You know, it's uh, but, it, it's it's very funny because the comment that I just saw in the chat is this is a very hard. Uh, this is a diff Doug Noble. This is a difficult scenario for the French. This is a monstrous scenario for the Allies. Because it's because they, they have a, a huge traffic control problem. Right. Well, I mean, if you think about it, though, Jim, it was turn 10 before we got into our first ability to even it, it's, get into that, combat. That's, but the point is, by the time that started, you'd already lost. And that's, right, but how that's, else? But, but we were moving our maximum. Move, These guys need to be point. over here. Why? First, first of all, because you get them there for free. Because they got to come around this way on these guys. You get them there in one turn. It does start to unhinge my entire but, flank. But, <laughs> but 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 my point though, Jim, is we had all this other stuff to do. There was a lot to be trying to do, and I don't know that getting these guys up here on turn would have been eighteen. No, we we missed we missed bringing them on in sixteen. So it would have been that's 20. true. That that's true. It, Costing, it was yeah. it was going to be yeah, turn twenty. So we would only have had four turns to do anything with them. Think that's... about it. Without that roll of one, they would have had three more turns to hit us. Well, yeah. two, 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 two for sure. You lose two turns. Yeah. It, well, yeah. and that's also interesting because the weather hits on an alternating cycle. You either mm -hmm. lose one right. or two turns to the storm. So that's really interesting too. Right. So I mean, the it other was, thing is, we, the other thing is, we were more this, than a. Oh, go ahead. This this division bugged me the whole time. Which one? This one. These uh, three no. brigades oh, and the yes. batteries sitting in the back. Yeah, definitely. It was like some kind of strange reserve that wasn't doing and, anything. And they got disconnected by red, and that it was. And I understand it's once things get disconnected in Blucher, it's a pain to reconnect them. I understand that, but. Mm -hmm. Well, I think, uh, How long I mean, was right up on this ridge, too. Because I, I the, not very well, long. This is yeah. the change. This is the, the change. I don't know what you know, what you and Mike, uh, Mike, I'm sorry, what you and Red, uh, were thinking about at the beginning, but it did seem to me that Red's Red was going to play a much more cautious game on, on this side of the, uh, yeah, no, I agree completely. Court. And I, when I saw him well, deploying in a defensive position here, I yes. almost spit soda. Yeah, it's like I mean, that what, was, what, what are you doing? Was playing that was playing right into m yeah, what I wanted if, because all me, I wanted you, to do was keep their interest. Yeah, trust <laughs> me, you. If this French corps sits here on the other side of the river for the entire game, they go home yep. and have sandwiches. Yeah, uh, well, exactly. I mean, uh, Colonel can tell you that. I mean, my plan at the beginning, what what I what we discussed at the beginning was uh, he was going to take two thirds of the army. And try to crush the Prussians or try to hit the Prussians over on the other side. Mm -hmm. But he was going to, the battle was going to be won or lost on what is essentially the French left. Um, you know, the only thing I could do on the right was try to keep the Russians at bay as long as possible, keep them interested in me and keep them from going to the other side of the field. You know? Yeah. And yeah, that, I, that's essentially what happened. So, it, it, right. I, my, I probably should have pushed my infantry that I had up here in the center up into his cavalry a little bit. Yeah, no, and Mike, I, I, you know, it's very interesting to watch your strategy because I liked it of punching well, his and, cavalry because I think and you that's have why to. I had the, 
and that's why I had the conscripts in the front, right? Yep. Let them take yes. the initial hit, at least get one, because you automatically got one point down on each of those cavalry, right? It doesn't seem like much, but one dice can make a big difference sure. on the next yeah. battle. Um, yeah. But, it, it, but as as was you know was pointed out, if you get within three inches of them, they get frozen out. Right. You know they they freeze in terror. No, I mean look, it's, I'm just taking a picture of it. You can actually look from where I'm standing. I realize I can't show that to you, but I can see from where I'm standing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So eight, eight brigades in a column. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. and and that ain't that ain't gonna get it done. But my, yeah. So my initial game plan when I looked at the terrain and when I sort of saw this giant mass of Prussians come at me was form a line roughly on this right here can to sort of funnel them into here or into this really terrible terrain and just hold on like death. Oh yeah, I knew exactly. There was no universe in which this little depression wasn't going to be the anchor of your line, which is goes to my point about these guys going this way, or these guys, this cavalry, and they wound up heading that way. Because give these give these horse f- four more turns, those guys are gone. The third core is dead. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, so it's you know even if even if I got to kill every Cossack in the army to do it. <laughs> and I will. Yeah, yeah. These uh, this wooded depression down over here is kind of became the hornet's nest at Shiloh. That's that's what holds them up. Third, yeah. second brigade held Weinberg, which was very important to me. If I lose Weinberg, this whole line goes. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah, absolutely. No, and and yeah, this that that fight and, and Mike brought it early and often because that's what they got to do. I mean, I don't I don't know if there's anything other than a punch in the face that Weinberg gets. Honestly, though, I, I could have bypassed bypassed it. If, if I could have gotten up into these woods and basically kept his cavalry from doing anything effective, yeah, I wouldn't have cared about, about, the, about Weinberg. Well, but you've got the bodies to throw at it. Yeah. You know, I, I'm, I'm committing a division to kicking him out of Weinberg. There's no doubt about it in my mind. But... You, you show me a battlefield where there's a gun sitting that didn't fire a shot. Yeah, especially <laughs> heavy artillery. Yeah. Uh, uh, In I know. retrospect, what I think I would have done was taken these two inventory and pushed them into the woods here, and then had the cavalry hold this line. Yeah, because then it's a, then it's then it's a cavalry fight. Cavalry in the trees is not their ideal yeah. situation. But uh, a couple of... This is fascinating. Oh, yeah. No, no. I, I, you know, there. Ian Jackson made the comment that because of the lack of musketry, it's a very strange battle. It raises one issue that Red mentioned, and I think, Chrono, you got into it implicitly with him, that apparently, I've never seen it, but apparently there's an earlier iteration of Blucher that doesn't have fire at volley range. I don't know if it... I don't know the rules, so I have no idea. I have no idea what what the rules are for that. Oh, you're talking I'm about Grand Armee? Really, I might be, but I mean, I was more of the discussion earlier when it was off, it was off the air where, in yeah. the Discord where he was talking about, well, I don't like the volley range. And to me, it's like, well, if you don't like the descriptors, like you can think of it as long range and short range fire. Sure. That's basically what they are. Because... In this game. Because it is interesting. If you were, and, you know, if you are to take volley range out of this game out of Blucher it's got a whole different feel to it <laughs> you know this 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 battle felt very different than our usual Blucher battles I don't think better or worse but it's definitely different yeah I, yeah. I, I miss being able to shoot things sure yeah well that's just it I mean <laughs> it, it really changed things up because right you put these guys in prepared unit in, in prepared positions you got to, they're just melee right mm-hmm there was virtually no artillery here to, to do anything with, and, and you don't have musketry to shoot them up with. So, well, that's on the on the right hand side, on our right hand side. That's what he needed these foot art, this heavy guns for. Sure. I was able to right. go into prepare prepare positions over here. If he had those guns over there, he could have pounded those guys. Yeah, but still, I, yeah. I felt better about the whole battle once Velker started shoving these guys off the hill. 
Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, it cha- I I mentioned at the time it changed my entire outlook when it switched over to Velker because I knew once it was Velker he was coming. So. <laughs> You know, for that better or worse, the entire and, and, you know, you you know, and these horse too. I think these horse were doing exactly what they should do. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I I think cutting off and I think cutting off this core is a good idea. Yeah, I think definitely. the one thing that Red and I had talked about a little bit was, I honestly I kind of wondered if Chrono was going to bring in his those units coming in off the board initially mm-hmm. over to the right hand side. For some reason thinking what i was thinking is that maybe he was looking at playing a little bit further back here sure forcing me to dig him out and then try to eliminate the russians in detail i mean i didn't want to defend this far back because this gives me no death whatsoever so sure if you push me back off this line then i can still have fall back into here what what here. exactly defined the plateau i guess i was a little confused about some of that too it's just all it, these it, it's this white it's the lighter color. Right. Okay. And that's what I thought. Yeah, it's a pretty large space. Oh, yeah. But but the French, you will remember, when the game starts, they only get a little nose. They get a little, you know, that yep. B spot is about here. Mm-hmm. And that's, the, that's it. That's all they've yeah. got is one or two but, brigades. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Back up, but well, we were giving all our mo over there. there. <laughs> is it took what five turns at least to get guys up here i mean it was turn 10 before yeah, we but, ever got yeah but it only took them it, it took them forever it, i think crowd did a fine does. job of it but they're climbing up this ridge in this treed ridge sure. yeah they, I, they i'm moving fast. three inches i'm moving three inches a turn my whole column is stacked up here for most of the for half the first half of the game you know, all to your out. guys and your guys were piling down on sixes which is fine which is great you know right so, I mean, but that's what i'm saying though i mean at the end of my first five turns, moving maximum speed that we could, we were only here, roughly. I was just hitting this at this point. I was, yeah. I barely got into here ahead of you. I was worried your cavalry were going to swing down here and yeah. hit me while I was. You had you had one cavalry unit here because that's kind of why I stopped a little bit further back and and prepared a couple of units because your cavalry was coming in and out. In hindsight, yeah. I should have just looked at trying to press it, I guess. But yeah, I mean it's it's an interesting, like. I, what I was worried about when I was pushing my infantry up this road was that your cavalry would come down and hit me before I could get into town here and anchor my flank. Right. It seems to me that this this definitely favors a, a, a mentality on the Allied side that they can sacrifice units. They, they have a much larger uh, window there. So pushing, pushing hard uh, forward and taking risks on losing some units in that is worthwhile for them. Yep. You know, I mean, and, and, and Velker and I were both willing to do that. Like I said, is I should have tried to do. Well, Velker's willing to do that, whether or not it's a good <laughs> idea. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Velker was always willing to do yeah, that. Yeah, I was <laughs> going to say that's that's sort of baked into the Velker cake. Ooh, I have a cake. Now. You have a cake. Exciting. Yeah, you, 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 Can I eat it? Yeah, no, that's weird. Eat your own cake. What? Velker wants it... Velker wants to have his cake and eat it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> He's nodding his head emphatically. <laughs> But what what flavor would it be? What that's, flavor is the I think that's cake. a question on everyone's it's mind. Red velvet. It's, it's a red Ooh, velvet Whoopi cake. It's oh, a red, red velvet, velvet. Whoopi cake. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say German choice. chocolate. Uh, see, oh, you love German chocolate too, because that's coconut. Oh yeah. Mm, yes. Yeah. Velker loves him some coconut. Oh yes. No, this is a good scenario, and it did it did make me sweat at times. I was like, oh boy. No, oh. no, this one this one yeah. is a uh, a blast. This one is really well designed by Ross. Um, you know, just huge credit to him for coming out with scenarios like this that are such great challenges. Um, yes. And, well, first of all, they're historical, right? I mean, we get a sense of the history and the, the problems that the commanders faced on both sides, but they're also designed in such a way to take advantage of the rules and some nice, very light chrome in terms of the weather rules, but have a dramatic effect on the game. And I, I think it's great. Uh, another... Uh, to the shock and surprise of no one who is familiar with Ross McGee's scenario, another winner at his hand. Um, so anyway, well, we're back. It's the it's the new year. The um, yeah has the saying: Allies need the casualties of the price are the price of doing business mindset. Absolutely. Yes. No doubt about yes. it. And uh, so we're yeah, back. And like I said, I I was I was willing to do that. I mean, that's why I even assaulted Weinberg. Right. Yeah. 
And that's no, why no, I said, I, I, that's I why mean, I said infantry against cavalry. Yes. You know, yes. I just, I needed to do that about two turns sooner though. Yeah. Is whatever, is my point. basically the allies, whatever they see in front of them, they got to push at it. So that's. Yeah. And part, and part of it is I shouldn't have detoured some units over here to the right to, to worry about third core. I should have just left the cavalry reserve coming on neutralized third core. It's uh, but we got through a 28 turn scenario lickety split. Really? It was three hours. Um, mm -hmm. which is well, when there's no musketry fire. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Um, seriously. <laughs> speed things up. Speed. It was speed blucher. Um, <laughs> no, no musketry and we skipped three turns. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no that's other. true. But uh, we got all the way through it. Uh, I am very tempted to throw this one up as a possibility for the Armchair Dragoons Digital Convention. It could be a good convention game. See what oh, yeah. Make with it. Especially since, you know, we got it into a convention size slot. Um, although mm -hmm. I am a little tempted to also. My plan, I think, is to set up one or two small LaSalle scenarios to teach LaSalle to new people. Mm. Um, That's a good call. And also to teach Blucher to people if as if people don't know what Blucher is because we love it so much. Um, but we got all sorts of stuff coming up this week. We've got Wednesday Night Warfare, um, which I'm sure has to be something or other involving LaSalle. Uh, Thursday, <laughs> I'm confident we'll be back with um, with CT, who we wish well to, and uh, to his family, and to um, and Vance, who will be back with us. And then Saturday, well, gosh only knows what, because sooner or later... Uh, I am going to get with David Enstonis. By the way, if you didn't all see my article, my first half of the interview with David Enstonis from the Wargaming Company, they are preparing to do a 10 millimeter line of plastics, uh, Napoleonic plastics. Notice they're doing it in 12 millimeter. Hooray to them. Um, and they, he has promised he is going to release a figure to cover every single unit in all their guidebooks. Um, so there will be Opalchenia, I asked. So uh, <laughs> David and I are going to get together and finish up my Katra Bra scenario for Project Katra Bra, and then David is going to teach us how to play at Sans Resultat. I might just play. Take that. Um, yes, God bless you. So anyway, lots of gaming. Please stay in touch. Don't forget Armchair Dragoons Digital Convention. Go sign up. Tons of games, tons of panels, lots of stuff to do. Sign up for all that. It should be a blast. Uh, thank you all so very much with... Um... Oh, there we go. And uh, Haz is running a Battle of the Mincio River, a Blue Curse scenario as part of ACDC. So definitely check that out. Uh, lots of different great stuff to play. Please do it. Anyway, thank you so much for sticking around. Happy, happy, healthy New Year to all of you. And we'll, you know, hey... Until we talk, please take care.